Chapter 641 Shu Wuhan appears translator. Born to be PFFT, the corrupt expert's words were entirely correct. Long Chen really did have the gods. The corrupt expert's sword pierced straight through his back and out from his chest. A berserk energy destroyed all of Long Chen's insides. In order to kill Long Chen, the corrupt expert had given up his chance to dodge Long Chen's attack. If he had dodged just now, his advantage would have vanished. The sound of flesh and bone breaking rang out as the corrupt expert was cut in two by Long Chen's saber. Long Chen had used a mutually destructive attack several times to reverse the tide against them, causing them to stamp with fury. The Celestials didn't believe that Long Chen was actually risking his life every time like this. So this particular one had finally hardened his heart, and he had taken this gamble to see whether or not Long Chen was truly suicidal. He was shocked but also delighted. Now that Long Chen had been stabbed through the back, since he wasn't a celestial, he wouldn't be able to heal and his death was undoubtable. The corrupt celestial quickly pushed himself back, wanting to get away from Long Chen's deathbed counterattack. Heavenly Dao recover PFFT. He was just about to use his core energy to reconnect the parts of his body when a blood red light turned him into a bloody mist. Not even his corpse remained. What? The other three celestials were all horrified. Long Chen had clearly taken a fatal blow. The fact he hadn't immediately died was already shocking enough. But he seemed like he completely fine. They had all thought he was about to die and had lost his combat ability. Their guards had all lowered. And as a result, a corrupt celestial was killed just like that. They had no idea that Long Chen had the primal chaos beat and could use the life energy inside it to instantly heal otherwise fatal injuries. It was even more monstrous than their heavenly Dao recovery. Rank 1 Celestials are only this level. Long Chen shattered the heavenly Dao runes that appeared in the air, and then lazily rested his saber on his shoulder, shaking his head at the remaining corrupt Celestials. When he had fought Yun Wusheng last time, he had only been at the third Havenstage of Meridian opening. Now that his cultivation base had grown even higher, rank 1 celestials, other than soul cultivators, were no longer able to pose such a large threat to him. Arrogant, the death of another celestial angered the other three to the peak. Two of them had already died, and no matter what the final result was, their mission would already count as a failure, and an extremely humiliating one. Out of nine celestials sent to kill Long Chen, three had died. The first one couldn't be blamed on them but the next two had been killed right in front of them. They would have to bear the responsibility for those deaths. The muscular celestial roared furiously, and his muscles suddenly increased in size, veins swimming on them. This was one of the corrupt path's self-mutilating secret abilities. Unless it was a critical time, none of them would use it. Boom. He smashed Long Chen with his club, and Long Chen's arm trembled intensely. He was actually unable to block this explosive power and was sent flying. Netherworld Ghost Cry. Another celestial suddenly began to release endless ghost key, which formed a white bone claw in the air that reached toward Long Chen. The other took out a human skull. A blood red light shone in its eyes, and it shot toward Long Chen. The muscular celestial also hit himself in the chest, vomiting blood which formed a fiendish face in the sky. All the energy of his corunes was sucked away by that fiendish face. With a fierce cry, it charged at Long Chen. The white bone claw, the human skull and the fiendish face all shot at Long Chen at the same time. Heaven and Earth changed color from their terrifying power. Long Chen was locked down by their power, but his expression was still completely calm. The primal chaos bead slowly circulated, and endless energy surged into Blood Drinker. Split the heavens. Boom. A saber image collided with the three attacks, causing the world to shake and terrifying astral winds to erupt in every direction. An immense crater was blasted into the ground. This hole was a hundred miles deep and a great deal of black gold ore blew into the air. Those were the leftover ore after all these years of mining. There was no longer that much left. When the dust settled, Long Chen had disappeared and the corrupt celestials thought that he had been blown apart by their exchange. But then, he suddenly appeared beside them, his saber slashing down. The corrupt celestials were horrified. They hadn't thought that he could survive their combined strongest attacks. Now, his saber released a domineering aura that completely locked them down. Die. Scram. Suddenly, a large hand viciously slammed toward Long Chen. His heart sank, and a sense of mortal danger filled him. He hastily switched from offense to defense. Boom. The large hand slammed into Long Chen's saber, and Long Chen shot back like a shooting star, cutting a huge ditch in the ground. He vomited a mouthful of blood which also contained the broken bits of his inner organs. This attack had gravely injured him, 
Guo Ran and the others had been struck by the shock waves from Long Chen and the three corrupt celestials attacks, and they were heavily injured, vomiting blood. But the corrupt experts had it even worse. Those who had been preoccupied with fighting Guo Ran and the others were all directly blown to smithereens. In terms of their physical bodies, they were fundamentally not on the same level as the Dragonblood Warriors. If the Dragonblood Warriors had to be heavily injured by this impact, then there was no way that they could survive. Of over 80,000 Xi'anchen disciples from the corrupt path, the Dragonblood Legion only managed to kill over 10,000. But now, over 30,000 were directly killed by that powerful impact. Only those fortunate enough to be comparatively far away from the battlefield managed to survive this calamity. Boss, Guo Ran and the others quickly ran over to Long Chen's side, supporting him. Tang Wan'er and Men Qi also withdrew to his side. The corrupt experts gathered together. There was a black-robed elder at their front now. See Expansion Realm. Long Chen's voice was cold. Correct. Answered the corrupt elder. The Dragonblood Warrior's heart sank. Wasn't it forbidden for Sea Expansion experts to appear here? The Sea Expansion expert turned toward his celestials and shook his head. Your mission counts as a complete failure. Master Gui Zong, we can still fight. The female soul cultivator was extremely unwilling. Just now, she had already taken the advantage. If she could kill Men Qi, Long Chen and the rest would definitely die. Don't try any excuses. A failure is a failure. Out of nine celestials, three died and half of 80,000 Xi'anchen elites also died. Even if you managed to completely slaughter them, it wouldn't change the fact that it was a failure. When you get back, you'll receive your punishments from your sects. Hopefully, you've learned something, and those people didn't die in vain. The sea expansion experts' words caused those celestials' expressions to become exceedingly ugly, but they were also helpless. They had been too careless. If they hadn't been so arrogant at the beginning and had slowly probed their opponent's strength before forming a strategy, perhaps this conclusion would have to be rewritten. But this world didn't have any ifs. Dead people were already dead. Their immense losses meant they had already failed. You little fellows, why don't you just kill yourselves? Or do you want this old man to do it personally? The sea expansion expert looked at Long Chen and the others. Here, a sea expansion expert was the law. He was capable of truly controlling heaven and earth's energy, making it so that meridian opening celestials didn't have the ability to fight him. Old ghost, if you boast so much, you should worry about biting your tongue. Long Chen smiled slightly and a jade plate appeared in his hand, crushing the jade plate. Space twisted and a figure slowly condensed before him. Monastery head, Tang Wan'er and the others cried with delight. This person was precisely the Zhuanchen Supermonastery's monastery head, Shu Wuhan. Shu Wuhan looked at the huge hole as well as the corpses that littered the battlefield. She said to Long Chen, As expected, you really are just a troublemaker. Wherever you go, chaos will follow. He, nothing I can do about that. If others want my life, it's not like I can just give it to them without a struggle. Right, laughed Long Chen. Shu Wuhan's appearance calmed all of them. This was part of Long Chen's backup plan. He had known the corrupt path would very likely not act in accordance with the agreement. And before leaving, he had gotten this jade from her. With her present, everything could be resolved. They could just watch the show. Shu Wuhan, I remember you. A cold light shone in the sea expansion expert's eyes. You should. You are Gui Zong, correct? 800 years ago, you had a brother called Gui Sha whom I killed. I seem to recall that his soul was sealed inside a corpse and used as a trial for our disciples. I'm sure he had a good life all these years, said Shu Wuhan. Hearing this, Long Chen was startled. It seemed they were all acquaintances. Wasn't Gui Sha the soul in the corpse he had encountered for the disciple trial in the 108th monastery? From him, he had even swindled the netherworld ghost steps. But that old fellow really had been petty and immediately turned hostile. In the end, he had self-destructed. It was unexpected for this person to actually be Gui Sha's brother. It seemed friends really did have destiny together. Shu Wuhan, if you're thinking of protecting Long Chen, Keep dreaming. You think a spiritual clone is capable of that? Sneered the corrupt elder. To handle someone only at the peak of early sea expansion, it should be enough, said Shu Wuhan. She was someone who had reached the peak of sea expansion. Although this spiritual clone only possessed a tenth of her true body's strength, it could be counted as a mid-sea expansion expert. Shu Wuhan, I'm regretful to tell you that your spiritual clone will perhaps have to be thrown away here. Suddenly, a voice rang out that caused Shu Wuhan's pupils to shrink. Chapter 642 A Truly Peerless Move Translator
born to be following that voice. Four figures appeared in their sky, huge wings on their backs. Shu Wuhan's expression changed completely. Out of these four, three of them were at the early sea expansion realm, while the other one was at the peak of the mid-sea expansion realm. Shu Wuhan, this clone of yours will have to be left behind. He, the clone and the true body souls are connected. I really want to leave something special behind in this clone of yours, laughed one of them pervertedly. Nine celestials and five sea expansion experts? Haha, <laughs> you really do look favorably upon me. Long Chen suddenly laughed. Of course we look favorably upon you. The righteous paths idiots might not understand, but we know you are a terrifying talent. In the beginning, we didn't care too much about you. As a result, that mistake caused an irredeemable loss, and Yun Luo died. If he hadn't died, he would definitely have been able to at least accept a Dao seed from a senior to become a terrifying celestial. It was at that time we realized that you really are a monster. A monster that surpasses people's imaginations. We knew we couldn't let you mature. So we attacked the Zhuanshan monasteries. Unfortunately, even with that many Zhuanshan experts, you still managed to get out alive, making us miss our best opportunity. Later, your battle with Yun Wusheng caused your name to finally reach the ears of our corrupt paths higher ups. Haha, <laughs> I really have to congratulate you. Our corrupt paths higher ups knew that if we were careless again and if you managed to get away, we would no longer have such a good opportunity in the future. So, just to kill you, we organized this large scale movement of our elite disciples and even set up this immense formation so you can't run. No matter how many reinforcements you bring out, they will all be useless. Unless you can surpass 5C expansion experts, any people you bring out will just be sending themselves to their deaths. But according to our information, your 36th super monastery only possesses 2C expansion experts and they don't even get along. Speaking of which, I greatly admire your righteous path. You fight amongst yourselves all day, and you suppress your geniuses instead of grooming them, but somehow you have still managed to survive to this date. The heavens really are blind, sneered the corrupt sea expansion elder. As the elder confidently spoke, Long Chen stealthily took out a disc with ancient runes carved into it. Sister, I'll stall them. You activate the transportation formation disc this is something I bought from Zhen Wenlong, and it's a priceless treasure from the ancient era. Once it's activated, it can bring all of you back to the super monastery, he transmitted to Shu Wuhan. Last time when he had seen Zhen Wenlong, he had asked for a life-saving treasure. That decision had been greatly supported by Zhen Wenlong. Zhen Wenlong wasn't afraid of himself dying, but he was absolutely terrified of Long Chen dying. It went without saying that the Huai insect was extremely powerful. They possessed all kinds of rare and ancient treasures that could no longer be created in modern times. In order to allow Long Chen to live for a few more years, Zhen Wenlong had increased his debt even more, obtaining this formation disc from the ancient era. Although it was incredibly ancient, the energy within it had been preserved extremely well. It was more than capable of long-distance transportation. The other portion of this disc was a coordinate stone that Long Chen had buried beneath the Zhuanshan Super Monastery's plaza. Once the disc was activated, they would all be teleported there. But then you, I have to stall them. Don't think that I'm such a noble person that I'm sacrificing my life for everyone. I have my own way to protect myself, said Long Chen. But, no bots. Do as I said and bring everyone away, said Long Chen. Then have one or activate the formation disc I'll stay with you. I'm just a clone, so it's fine, said Shu Wuhan. There's no need. Just do as I said and it'll be fine. They've already sensed our conversation. Although a spiritual clone did not possess a physical body, it was something that exhausted endless mental energy and spiritual strength to form. Losing a clone would cause the true body's power to immediately drop for a while. As for Shu Wuhan, who was at the peak of her realm, she could not afford to lose her clone at this time or it would make advancing to the next realm much more difficult. I don't know what you're mumbling back there, but our corrupt path has always believed a certain phrase, in front of absolute strength. All schemes are useless. Don't bother stalling for time, because that has no meaning. Are you going to kill yourself, or do you need this old man to take action? Asked the corrupt sea expansion elder. Long Chen smiled and slowly walked forward. Shu Wuhan sighed helplessly and began to secretly activate the formation disc but this formation disc required a certain amount of time to activate, and due to how many people it had to transport, it exhausted a great deal of energy. Furthermore, she had to do so extremely carefully, not letting the slightest fluctuation be exposed for fear of them noticing. 
This kind of transportation device was extremely easily interrupted at the beginning. They would be doomed if the corrupt experts were to notice. That was the main reason Long Chen had Shu Wuhan do it. No one else had the ability to silently activate it. It's Gui Zong, correct? I've met your brother. Long Chen walked out almost a mile, shaking his head at the distant corrupt sea expansion elder. Are you trying to stall? He asked icily. Go down through Yang Quan, up through Zhu and Dan, converge at Zifu, erupt at Chang Shan. Long Chen began to recite a mnemonic. Hearing it, the corrupt elder's expression completely changed. How? How do you know my netherworld sect's footwork mnemonic? Now you should believe that I saw your brother before, right? This mnemonic was something he taught me, said Long Chen. Impossible. He would never transmit my netherworld sect's mnemonic to the righteous path. Don't get angry. In truth, it was like this. After I met your brother, your brother felt that I was of pure face and mind, of fair complexion and soul, a martial genius seen only once every 10,000 years. As a result, he wanted to take you as a disciple. No, he wanted to take me as a master. What nonsense. My brother was a mid-sea expansion expert in his life. How could he take you as a master? Raged the corrupt elder. He clearly respected his brother greatly. You know, to tell you the truth, even I didn't believe he would do something like this at the beginning. But then later he said he wanted me to take his soul out of the cave, then take me as his master and bestow all his life's learning to me, said Long Chen. And then, then, he begged me to learn his netherworld ghost steps. Seeing such an old man kneeling on the ground, crying his eyes out, I didn't feel right saying no, sighed Long Chen. Get to the point. What happened? He continued to kneel on the ground, begging me to learn a few more techniques. That enraged me, and I viciously slapped him in the face for two days, cursing him for not appreciating my kindness and trying to take advantage of me. Buzz. Just as Long Chen's saliva was splashing everywhere as he babbled, an intense spatial fluctuation appeared. Not good. They're running. One of the sea expansion experts in the sky was the first to react, but a curtain of light enveloped the Dragonblood Legion, and the terrifying spatial fluctuations showed they were just about to be transported away. Stop them. How about you don't? Just as they were about to stop them, Long Chen laughed, and the lightning python and flame serpent shot out from his arms. A terrifying aura filled the world, and the five sea expansion experts halted, their expressions ugly. They sensed an extremely great danger from the lightning python and flame serpent. Both of them roared, coiling together and charging through their midst. In that instant, all of the corrupt celestials felt endless terror. They could smell the scent of death from those two. They had never even dreamed that Long Chen was still holding back such a terrifying move. Such an attack could instantly kill them. The 5C expansion experts extended their hands. Runes lit up on their palms, and they smashed into Long Chen's attack. Boom. It was like a star had exploded. Blinding light filled the sky. Endless flames and lightning made it so it seemed even space was about to explode. When the light faded, the 5C expansion experts' expressions were dark. They were also filled with shock. Even with their combined strength, they had still been blown back miles by that attack. Just how could Long Chen possess such power? After that attack, the two tattoos on Long Chen's arms turned completely dark. Long Chen couldn't help sighing. Sea expansion experts were truly terrifying. The lightning python and flame serpent had released their full strength but hadn't been able to injure them. However, he hadn't hoped for this move to injure them. Without the support of the green dragon energy, he was merely a slightly larger ant in front of sea expansion experts. But he had at least achieved his goals. The dragon blood legion had completely disappeared from here. As expected, the Huaian sect's wares were truly top tier and trustworthy. Zhen Wenlong had never disappointed him. Although they got away, it's fine. Just Long Chen's life is enough. The corrupt sea expansion elder's expression was gloomy my life? He, then we'll have to see if you have that ability. Today, I'll let you all see what my truly peerless move is. Long Chen laughed mischievously, and his aura completely erupted. Chapter 643 Invoking Xi'anshan Tribulation Translator Born to be Long Chen's aura which had originally been at the sixth heaven stage of meridian opening, began rapidly climbing, and consecutive explosive sounds rang out from his body. Boom. Seventh heaven stage. Boom. Eighth heaven stage. As Long Chen's aura grew, the 5C expansion experts were shocked. Long Chen had actually concealed his true aura. The celestials were especially stupefied. Just what kind of monster was Long Chen? In that intense battle just now, he had still been holding back his power. 
More explosive sounds came from his body as his aura grew stronger and stronger. It was like a volcano was erupting within his body. What a powerful aura. How could someone at Meridian Opening possess such an aura? Let him do as he pleases. No matter how strong his aura grows, he'll still be an ant to us. I actually really want to see what kind of trick he has. In the sea expansion expert's eyes, Long Chen was just deliberately trying to be mysterious. This was just a deathbed struggle. The scene they enjoyed seeing the most. Looks of despair were truly amazing. Wait, something's wrong. How are there so many explosions coming from his body? Ji Yui Zong was the first to realize something was wrong. According to reason, each advancement would cause an explosive sound from one's body. But Long Chen had long since surpassed nine heaven stages. Furthermore, with each further advancement past the ninth heaven stage, his aura would multiply. That simply was not in accordance with common sense. Finally, a loud rumbling rang out. Everyone's expressions changed as they looked up to see that black clouds had completely filled the sky. Due to the battle with the celestials, the wrath of the heavens had caused the sky to already be filled with black clouds. So no one had noticed the change. Now that they saw the endless tribulation clouds, whether it was the sea expansion experts, the celestials, or the remaining corrupt experts, their faces all turned purple. He, he's undergoing tribulation, bastard. He's bringing us all into his tribulation. But why is this tribulation so terrifying? The corrupt experts were completely horrified. How was this lightning tribulation? This was clearly an annihilation tribulation. One that seemed like it could destroy the entire world. All disciples gather. Celestials, activate your cry of the heavenly deos. Heavenly tribulation won't attack people within the cry of the heavenly deos, ordered one of the corrupt sea expansion experts. The celestials hastily activated their manifestations, covering all the disciples within the range of their heavenly deo runes. It was fortunate they had enough celestials, as there would be no way for one celestial to envelop all these people. What? There was actually such a thing. Long Chen was startled. Heavenly Tribulation wouldn't attack Celestials? The 5C expansion experts were also within the range of the cry of the Heavenly Deos. Icily looking at Long Chen. You're wasting your time. Is that so? Rumble. Endless lightning arrows suddenly rained down from the sky. Each one of them was a foot thick and three meters long. Miserable screams rang out. The lightning arrows went straight through the cry of the Heavenly Deos. Killing any Xi'anchen experts they encountered. Many people's bodies directly turned to dust. What's going on? The heavenly deos no longer care about celestials. Cried one of the sea expansion experts in panic. This heavenly tribulation is different from other tribulations. It's ignoring our heavenly deo runes. We can still endure. But those ordinary disciples will all die. Long Chen needs to be killed. Cried one of the celestials. They were horrified to see that their heavenly deo manifestations. Which had never failed before. Now had no more effect. Heavenly Tribulation was part of the Heavenly Deos, and Celestials were the favorites of the Heavens. Within their manifestations, they wouldn't be attacked by Heavenly Tribulation. This was common knowledge, but that common knowledge was completely overturned today. This lightning not only ignored their manifestations, but it also easily killed Xi'anchen experts. Even the comparatively stronger corrupt disciples were only able to endure being struck a few times. In the face of Heavenly Tribulation, all people were terrified. Long Chen watched these panicking disciples with a cold smile. In order to kill me, the heavens don't even mind killing their bastards. Originally, Long Chen really had thought that heavenly Deo runes could resist the heavenly tribulation. He had even been planning on charging into their midst to see what effect that would cause. But now he found his tribulation didn't show mercy to anyone. Die. Suddenly, a large hand passed through space and slammed toward Long Chen. This was not a true hand but it was no different from a solid hand. This was an attack from a sea expansion expert formed from natural energy. Its power was truly immense. Three stars appeared in Long Chen's eyes, and Blood Drinker released a blood red glow as it slashed at the hand. Split the heavens. Boom. The huge attack erupted into dazzling light. Heaven and earth lost all their color. Even the lightning arrows in the sky were blown apart. Long Chen was sent flying back. His arms numb. Blood Drinker had almost blown out of his hand. As expected. Without the green dragon energy, I'm not a match for these bastards. I can't fight with them head on. Long Chen wiped off a trace of blood from his mouth and retreated. What? He actually blocked it. The sea expansion expert was startled. He had thought Long Chen would definitely die from his attack. The heavenly tribulation is getting stronger. Kill him quickly. Gui Zong's expression suddenly changed. 
because he found that the lightning arrows were growing even stronger and more numerous. It was still no problem for the celestials, but the ordinary disciples were dying faster and faster. These were the corrupt path's elite disciples. Each one of their deaths caused him pain. If they still didn't kill Long Chen, then all these disciples would die. Elimination Cloud Palm. Overflowing Rain Slash. The 5C expansion experts all attacked, and huge images attacked Long Chen. Explosions rang out. Long Chen didn't dare take them head on. He flashed left and right, doing his best to get away. But the scope of their attacks was too large, and he had no choice but to block a portion of them. Blocking one attack, Long Chen's shoulder broke and his entire arm almost shattered, causing him to clench his teeth in pain. Damn it, how miserable. If I could still use the green dragon energy, I could directly kill these bastards. Long Chen cursed inside, but the green dragon energy was something he no longer had. He had to rely on himself. At the same time, Long Chen came to a realization. He couldn't depend too much on outer force, or it would become a habit. He had to rely on himself. However, right now, the difference was too great. He had no way to fight C expansion experts head on. Originally, his trump card had been Chu Wuhan. But who would have expected the corrupt path to actually send 9 celestials and 5 C expansion experts to kill him? A rookie in the Meridian opening realm? This was absolutely bullying. Fuck. How is the power still so weak? Are you going to wait forever? Long Chen suddenly cursed at the sky. He was cursing these damn heavens. But the 5C expansion experts thought it was a curse at them. And they turned green with rage. You little bastard. If you have any gods. Don't dodge this one. Don't get caught by this old man. Or I'll definitely make you live a life worse than death. The 5C expansion experts furiously attacked. Long Chen could only dodge as best as he could, appearing extremely miserable. Long Chen was so furious he wanted to curse their mothers. He had an urge to explain that he hadn't been cursing them, but then he felt such an explanation was something even he wouldn't believe. Suddenly, the sky rumbled. Countless lightning pythons appeared in the black clouds. What? The sea expansion experts immediately became flabbergasted. They saw those countless lightning pythons charge straight down upon them. Everyone, gather together. Experts on the outside, protect the disciples within, their expressions completely changed, and they no longer even bothered with Long Chen anymore, they hurriedly went to protect their disciples, before the tribulation, there had been less than 40,000 disciples left, but the lightning arrows decimated them down to 20,000, the 5C expansion experts and 6 celestials were going all out to protect these disciples, hoping to help them endure the heavenly tribulation, as for Long Chen? Long Chen was the main target of the tribulation, and there was no way he could run. They directly ignored him. Saving their people was more important. These lightning pythons were too terrifying. Each of them was dozens of meters long, and their thunder force could easily kill Xi'anchen disciples. If they didn't protect them, then other than the celestials, not one of their disciples would remain. If 80,000 disciples were all killed, it would be an extremely terrifying blow to the eastern wasteland's corrupt path. The 5C expansion experts had been in the midst of helping everyone block these lightning pythons when they looked over at Long Chen, wanting to see how he was handling the tribulation. After all, this tribulation had already surpassed the scope of their understanding. Although it wasn't as strong as their C expansion tribulation, its scope had been hundreds of times greater. Even after living this many years, they had never seen such tribulation, let alone seeing it. They hadn't even heard of such a thing. When they saw Long Chen, they almost coughed up blood. This bastard was definitely doing this on purpose. Chapter 644 Someone from the Huo family translator, born to be Long Chen was sitting leisurely. A lightning python was coiled around him, protecting him from the lightning. It crazily devoured any lightning pythons that came towards him. Furthermore, Long Chen had even taken out a table. He sat in a chair, occasionally sipping some hot tea. He legs were crossed as if he was just watching a show. A-H-H-H. Fucking hell. Gui Zong roared furiously. Long Chen was the one who had brought on this disaster, but he was going through it so leisurely, while they were practically working themselves to their deaths to protect their people. This was too infuriating. Gui Zong, be careful. Don't release your aura, warned one of the corrupt experts. With that person's reminder, Gui Zong's expression changed. He hastily suppressed his fury, focusing on blocking the lightning pythons. Oh, how fishy. Long Chen gulped down some queen bee honey, narrowing his eyes. It was no wonder he had felt it was odd. Just now, 
He had been chased down miserably and hadn't had time to ponder it, but now he realized the truth. According to reason, heavenly tribulation would set its power according to whoever was strongest within its scope. There were clearly 5C expansion experts here. According to reason, that should have brought on a furious torrent of lightning. But Long Chen found that the heavenly tribulation was acting according to its old order. That meant it was still matching its power to Long Chen. Could it be that the heavens truly were blind and couldn't see these 5C expansion bastards? I get it. This is how you cheat the heavens. Long Chen suddenly clapped himself on the leg, realizing the crux of the matter. These five wily foxes definitely knew how to fool the heavenly deos. It was the same with how he had helped Little Snow undergo tribulation. He hadn't released his aura during the tribulation, which had caused it to be duped. It was no wonder he had felt these old fellows' attacks had been a bit strange. Those attacks had been powerful, but they lacked a certain kind of energy. It was like they had form, but no power. That was because they were afraid of being sensed by the heavenly deos. He, interesting. But do you think that just enduring this one wave of attacks will mean passing the tribulation? Long Chen smiled sinisterly. He lazily stretched. Long Chen ignored the lightning pythons. In just the first wave of the tribulation, the lightning arrows, he had absorbed quite a bit of thunder force. The lightning python, which had exhausted all of its energy, had quickly recovered by eating the thunder force Long Chen had absorbed for it. Now it was still in a weak state, but it still managed to come out of Long Chen's body and devour the lightning crashing down around him. The heavenly tribulation's lightning pythons were merely dozens of meters long, while Long Chen's lightning python was over 2500 meters. These lightning pythons weren't even enough for it to feed on. If Long Chen didn't need it to protect him, it would have already flown out to devour as many as possible. Calling you lightning python is kind of boring. I feel like there will sooner or later come a day when you become a dragon. How about I call you Lightning Dragon? Since my surname is Long, we can share that character. I'll call you Lai Long for Lightning Dragon and the Fire Serpent Huo Long for Fire Dragon, laughed Long Chen. What excited Long Chen was that Lai Long actually let out a loud roar. From that roar, Long Chen sensed the Lightning Python had grown even closer to him emotionally. Long Chen rubbed the blue flame tattoo on his right arm. Huo Long was still in slumber. That attack just now had used up all of its power. Huo Long was much weaker than Lai Long Noveloon.com Lai Long had always had food to eat, but Huo Long only had Long Chen's pill flame to snack on. It had been in a hungry state since the beginning. It couldn't be said that the earth flame wasn't powerful, but simply that Long Chen hadn't given it enough food for it to mature. That made Long Chen feel guilty. He had to think of a way to increase Huo Long's power. Seeing the bustling figures in the distance, Long Chen smiled apologetically, shouting, Corrupt brothers, people must be brave, perseverance is victory, the heavens are nothing, and lives are just dog sheet. This great heavenly tribulation is something we only managed to receive after hundreds of reincarnations. Our slogan is, don't give up, don't look back, cheer on, stand firm, I look favorably on you. Long Chen's impassioned cry rang out in every single one of the corrupt expert's ears. Ji Yui Zong clearly knew that he was doing it on purpose, but his fury still soared, and he actually vomited a mouthful of blood. Careful, don't release your aura, cried one of the corrupt experts. If Ji Yui Zong released his aura in his fury, all their disciples would be done for. Aya, Ji Yui Zong, you're coughing up blood. Hurry and rest, cried Long Chen with concern. Ji Yui Zong once more vomited blood. His aura was like a volcano that had been suppressed for countless years and might erupt at any moment. Ji Yui Zong, shut your ears and calm yourself, cried an elder. He threw a medicinal pill at Ji Yui Zong. This was the only mid-sea expansion elder. Ji Yui Zong consumed the medicinal pill and felt his spiritual yuan, which had been on the verge of erupting. Finally calm down. Many thanks Huo thanked Ji Yui Zong. Focus on the lightning pythons, said the elder coldly, cutting off his words. Ji Yui Zong trembled and immediately shut his mouth. At the same time, he cut off his sensation of sound. Long Chen's gaze shifted, and he icily said, Huo, so you were actually someone from the Pill Tower's Huo family hum. The color of your face doesn't match your neck. This kind of appear on our changing technique is far too lacking. He, I know, you must have applied face changing medicinal water. There was no problem before, but your mixture contained the Nine Wood Poplar's flower. Ninewood Poplar is extremely weak to Thunder Force. Even just getting infected by a trace of its aura will cause it to break down. It's no wonder your face has become so ugly. The elder's expression didn't change. 
but he was incomparably shocked inside. This face-changing liquid he had used was an extremely particular formula. Even the people closest to him wouldn't be able to tell who he was. But Long Chen had managed to see through him, and his words were entirely right. This formula truly did contain the Nine Wood Poplar's flower. Nine Wood Poplar was most afraid of lightning. It was unable to survive outdoors, and only grew in covered places like caves. It was an extremely unknown kind of medicinal ingredient. Although he couldn't see his own face, he knew he was exposed. But he still didn't say anything. Tell me, how could your Huo family be so shameless? You're part of the Pill Tower, the representative of Pill Valley. But again and again, you participate in the struggle between the righteous and corrupt paths. Are you really not afraid of Pill Valley's investigation? Asked Long Chen. HMPH. I don't know what you're talking about. Keep acting. Just how long can you keep acting? The Huai insect already has the meridian opening pill. Long Chen hastily shut his mouth. You, you know about the meridian opening pills. Speak. Where did the Huai insect obtain the meridian opening pills formula? Raged the elder. But then seeing Long Chen's sinister smile, he immediately realized he had fallen for a trap. He, as expected, the Huai insect's meridian opening pills haven't been revealed to the outside world yet. Because the Huai insect always sets things up in the best way possible and they have to make all kinds of preparations. However, there are some people aware of it in the Huai insect considering how classified the secret is. Who else could you be but someone from the pill tower? Who do you think you were trying to trick? Wasn't it your spies in the Huai insect that told you this? Sneered Long Chen. Considering how enormous both parties were, it only made sense for them to have spies between them. Long Chen had intentionally acted as if his tongue had slipped, and as a result, this old fellow really had taken the bait and exposed himself. Brother Huo, there's nothing to worry about. Even if Long Chen could grow wings, he can't fly away today, said one of the corrupt sea expansion experts. He no longer bothered trying to cover it up. The expert from the Huo family didn't say anything. He simply helped the corrupt experts block the lightning pythons. It went without saying that sea expansion experts were incredibly powerful. Long Chen didn't know how they were doing it but each wave of their hands released powerful astral winds that caused the lightning pythons to explode. They didn't even have to use their true strength. Is Huo Wufang still alive? Long Chen asked suddenly. Long Chen, your mouth is truly detestable, raged the Huo family expert. Oh, it seems Huo Wufang has a close relationship to you. If you aren't his daddy, then he's your father. Long Chen suddenly realized he had misspoken and corrected himself. If you aren't his daddy, then you're his father. Long Chen, when this heavenly tribulation is over, I'll definitely make you live a life worse than death, one you'll beg me to end. Killing intent erupted from the Huo family elder, he was clearly truly infuriated. All right, then I'll wait for you. Long Chen smiled slightly, no longer saying anything. This elder had not been able to control his fury when he had mentioned Huo Wufang, meaning the two had to be closely related. That made this matter extremely clear. Everything that had occurred had been urged on by the Pill Tower's Huo family from behind the scenes. As for Long Chen, he was someone the Zhao family, the corrupt path, and the Huo family wanted dead. Only the Huo family could use their status as part of the Pill Tower to give some pressure to the Zhuanchen Dao sect. The Zhuanchen Dao sect would also not wish to offend the Pill Tower over one disciple. Sending a disciple to serve a penal sentence for three months in order to give face to the Pill Tower was worth it. To the Zhuanchen Dao sect. This was just a minor matter. Furthermore, the four families had all been given benefits by the Pill Tower. The Shu family also considered this a small matter, and so there was no need to offend the Pill Tower. Even Shu Wuhan hadn't had any solutions. As for the corrupt path, they were the ones who had killed all the righteous disciples and stolen all the ore in the end. All the guilt would be placed on them. The corrupt path was naturally not afraid of that. As long as they could kill Long Chen, they would be willing to do anything. Unlike the Huo or Zhao families, they wouldn't need to give an explanation for their actions. Buzz. Suddenly, the lightning pythons began to lessen. The corrupt experts almost cheered in relief. Long Chen, get ready to die. The Huo family elder was just about to attack when he suddenly became absolutely still, and then slowly raised his head to look up at the sky. Chapter 645 Human-Shaped Lightning Translator Born to be the Huo family expert had assumed the heavenly tribulation had ended. He was just about to attack Long Chen when he sensed something was wrong. The others were all looking up at the sky in horror, their eyes filled with shock. When he raised his head as well, 
he saw the tribulation clouds had been concealed by countless lightning monsters. The lightning monsters blocked the clouds, making him think that the clouds had already scattered Novaloon.com cm each one of these lightning monsters was over 300 meters long. There were wolves, tigers, leopards, jackals, etc. These weren't true magical beasts. They were merely what Thunder Force had transformed into. And yet, the endless destructive aura released from them made it seem like they could destroy the entire world. What kind of heavenly tribulation is this? The 5C expansion experts were all appalled. Even when they had undergone their tribulations, the Thunder Force itself had only been slightly stronger than this. Furthermore, no lightning monsters had appeared. The lightning pythons had already been extremely shocking to them. But now that they saw these lightning monsters, they all turned numb. Is it because we exposed our auras? Guessed one of them. That's absolutely impossible. We didn't use any of our true abilities. There's only one possibility. This lightning is all because of Long Chen, and we're only being implicated, said the Huo family elder. But how is that possible? How could a Xi'anchen tribulation menace see expansion experts? Rumble. The lightning monsters didn't give them time to ponder that question. They began to surge down. Boom. A celestial smashed apart one of them, only to be knocked back, wildly vomiting blood. Even celestials could only destroy one lightning monster at a time, and they would be heavily injured as a result. These lightning monsters were too terrifying. The most terrifying thing was that the black clouds in the sky were like incubators for these monsters. An endless stream of them came crashing down on the corrupt path's experts. A-H-H. -H. No. One of the lightning monsters slipped through into the midst of the corrupt disciples. Even with 5C expansion experts and 6 celestials, they were unable to block these endless lightning monsters. As soon as one of them slipped through, it underwent a violent slaughter of the corrupt disciples. Miserable screams rang out incessantly. Long Chen was also surrounded by lightning monsters. Lai Long devoured them frantically, but there were too many, and some of them still managed to reach Long Chen. His saber released blood red waves. Any lightning monsters would be killed with a single slash of his saber. Having frequently had to deal with Thunder Force, Long Chen had long since become accustomed. He had an extremely high resistance to it. So while the Celestials couldn't block the backlash, Long Chen could essentially ignore it. Furthermore, Lai Long had already grown past 3,000 meters. It was becoming more and more terrifying. The lightning monsters might be powerful, but they didn't know how to defend. They were devoured one by one. Long Chen only had to handle any that slipped through. In comparison to the corrupt path, he had it extremely easy. The corrupt path was in a complete mess now. There were too many lightning monsters and too many corrupt disciples causing their defensive perimeter to be too large to defend. Lightning monsters would occasionally manage to slip through. By the time a sea expansion expert could destroy it, hundreds of corrupt disciples would die. In less than an incense stick's time, there were less than 10,000 corrupt disciples remaining. Furthermore, they continued to be slaughtered. The corrupt experts' expressions were incomparably gloomy. This time, they really had brought disaster upon themselves. If this continued... How were they supposed to give an explanation to the sects that had participated? Everyone, work together and endure. This is definitely the last wave, ordered a sea expansion expert furiously. Seeing his elite disciples be turned to dust, he was incredibly anxious but also helpless to do anything. These lightning monsters were too powerful. Each one of them could be compared to a half-step sea expansion expert. Furthermore, they were formed from thunder force, making them even more terrifying. The sea expansion experts didn't dare release their true power to fight. Handling a few dozen lightning monsters at one time was already each of their limits. As for the six celestials, they had truly been abandoned by the heavens. They no longer received any protection from the heavenly deos. They were ruthlessly attacked by the lightning monsters, constantly vomiting blood. Fortunately, they had their heavenly deo recovery. They could use their core energy to heal. Otherwise, they would have already died. This heavenly tribulation was too terrifying. In just a few more minutes, the corrupt disciples numbered no more than 5,000. However, with fewer people, it became easier for them to defend. Their defensive perimeter shrank, and it was no longer so taxing. Boom. Suddenly, the lightning monsters disappeared, which made the corrupt experts sigh with relief. Some disciples directly collapsed on the ground, gasping for breath. They had finally managed to escape with their lives. The corrupt expert saw Long Chen standing in the distance, his saber resting on his shoulder. He was smiling at them. That smile, 
It could only be described as wretched. Incredibly wretched. Just looking at it would make a person feel like they might explode. Long Chen, hand over your life. One of the sea expansion experts was just about to charge at him. Long Chen waved his hand to him and then pointed his finger at the sky, winking. What? When they looked at the sky, they were all filled with despair. The tribulation clouds had yet to scatter. They were gathering together, and endless lightning runes were condensing. A terrifying pressure fell on all of them. Is there ever going to be an end? Roared an unwilling celestial. Long Chen sneered. Just this was enough to make them mad? He had started undergoing these annihilation tribulations since blood condensation, and he hadn't even complained. Well, the main point was that complaining didn't have any use. Good things should be shared with others. The true tribulation began now. Rumble. The explosive rumbling coming from the sky was the only sound that could be heard. The heavenly might made even the sea expansion experts' expressions change. They sensed mortal danger. Suddenly, nine figures appeared in the sky. It was nine human-shaped lightnings. Their faces weren't clear, but they had a pair of wings on their backs, and they were three meters tall. They made everyone feel endless terror. One of those human-shaped lightnings shot toward the corrupt path. A lightning prong actually appeared in its hands, which it stabbed down. One of the sea expansion experts slammed his hand toward it, and as a result, he was sent shooting back, vomiting a mouthful of blood. Any disciples unfortunate enough to be behind him ended up being smashed apart by the impact. A long line of death appeared in their midst, as the sea expansion expert only managed to stabilize dozens of miles away. Hundreds of corrupt disciples had died from this one exchange. That was more than a tenth of their number. There was no way around that, as they were two gathered together. They didn't even have a chance to dodge. Following the first human-shaped lightnings, the other eight also flew down. What made the corrupt path the most infuriated was the fact that only one went after Long Chen. The other eight charged into their midst. PFFT. A celestial exchanged blows with one, and as a result, he was sent flying, cracks appearing all over his body. He had been just the slightest bit away from instantly dying. Don't look after the ordinary disciples anymore. Focus on protecting the celestials, cried one of the corrupt experts. He began a fierce battle with one of the human-shaped lightnings. The ordinary disciples despaired. They had been pitilessly abandoned. In just a few breaths time, those ordinary disciples were all slaughtered. The five sea expansion experts and six celestials were doing their best against the eight human-shaped lightnings, but they were still in a dangerous situation. We can't continue like this. If we don't go all out, we'll also die roared one of the sea expansion experts, but if they did release their full power, the lightning tribulation would immediately sense them and release even more terrifying lightning tribulation based upon their cultivation base. Long Chen was in the meridian opening realm attacking the Xianchen realm, which drew down Xianchen tribulation. In other words, if the sea expansion experts were sensed by the tribulation, it would send down tribulation for when they attacked the realm even higher than sea expansion. They were only at the early sea expansion realm, and such a heavenly tribulation would definitely kill them. One of the laws of heavenly tribulation was that it wouldn't allow experts to interfere, or it would attack them. But if the people interfering were not stronger than the person undergoing tribulation, the tribulation would still be set to the power level of that person. In other words, amongst all these Xianchen experts, Long Chen's power was at the peak. Otherwise, an ordinary Xianchen tribulation would not be even close to this level. Long Chen was also fighting a fierce battle now. These human-shaped lightnings were too terrifying. But with Lai Long's assistance, it still wasn't extremely dangerous for him. Furthermore, his high resistance to lightning was something that even sea expansion experts could not hope to match. So those sea expansion experts were battered and bruised. But he was still fine. The only thing that made him depressed was that Lai Long was unable to devour the human-shaped lightning. It could only help him fight it. Finally, a sea expansion expert once more vomited blood from being struck by a human-shaped lightning and was about to die. In his desperation, his aura erupted and an illusory sea appeared behind him. Die. He was finally unable to endure it. If he still didn't release his full strength, he would definitely be killed. Boom. His punch sent the human-shaped lightning flying. But in that instant, everyone's expressions changed, including Long Chen. Chapter 646 Dark Gold Assassin's Translator Born to be in his desperation, a sea expansion expert had finally released his powerful aura. The nine human-shaped lightnings immediately blossomed with boundless light, looking like nine suns. Endless lightning runes raged in the sky, covering the entire battlefield. Damn it, 
The Huo family's expert's expression changed. Now that one of them had released their aura, it was immediately sensed by the heavenly deos. The current tribulation was no longer targeted at just Long Chen, but one targeted for someone at the sea expansion realm. They had already undergone their sea expansion tribulations. This new tribulation was a ruthless test for peak sea expansion experts attacking a higher realm. If this continued, they would all definitely die. What? Suddenly, everyone realized that at some unknown time, over 30 black figures had appeared out of nowhere, looking as if they had sprouted from the ground. Even after fighting this long, not even the sea expansion experts had noticed that there had been this many people hidden within the battlefield. Furthermore, it was impossible to sense these people's auras. In fact, these people had even managed to avoid being sensed by the heavenly tribulation so far. But now that a sea of lightning filled this entire space, they had nowhere to hide. Suddenly, a sharp dagger stabbed toward Long Chen's back. A figure had already crept behind him without anyone noticing. Children from the Blood Kill Hall, you've finally come to play? I've been waiting for a long time. Long Chen sneered. Ever since this battle had started, he had felt a bit uneasy. He had forgotten to include the Blood Kill Hall's fellows into his calculations. He hadn't expected them to be this daring. They actually dared to try and assassinate him in the midst of his tribulation. Furthermore, they actually had some kind of secret technique to keep themselves hidden from the tribulation. It went without saying that the Blood Kill Hall was truly powerful. Long Chen blocked the dagger with his saber. He was just about to give the assassin a vicious blow when he felt an intense danger, and he hastily slashed his saber to the side. Boom. Long Chen's saber collided with a human-shaped lightning's fist. He shot back like a shooting star. He was horrified inside. This human-shaped lightning's power had increased by at least 10 times. Now it was troublesome. Quickly kill Long Chen. Otherwise, every one of us will die, cried one of the sea expansion experts. At the same time, he was sent flying by a human-shaped lightning, madly vomiting blood. He appeared miserable to the peak. However, he immediately escaped from his human-shaped lightning and shot toward Long Chen. Such a heavenly tribulation was something even sea expansion experts wouldn't be able to endure for long. But as long as they killed Long Chen, the heavenly tribulation would disappear. They had to kill him as fast as possible. As for those celestials, they could no longer care about them so much. If they didn't kill Long Chen, all of them would die. As for whether or not the celestials could survive, it would be up to their luck. The Blood Kill Hall's assassins had originally been hiding in the battlefield. Not even the heavenly deos had been able to sense them. They were extremely patient killers, and they had been waiting for the best opportunity to kill Long Chen in one blow. But now, they would no longer be able to obtain any better opportunities than this one. The endless lightning had exposed them, and with the change in the tribulation, they had to kill Long Chen quickly before they all died. Heroes from the Blood Kill Hall, we'll be in charge of attacking directly. You should focus on attacking from the sides. Try and kill him with a single blow, ordered the Huo family's expert. After escaping from his human-shaped lightning, he shot toward Long Chen. He saw that these assassins were all in the Meridian Opening Realm. Otherwise, no matter how amazing their secret art was, there was no way they could have stayed hidden from the Heavenly Deos. Their defensive strength was low, but their killing power was exceedingly terrifying. Their exquisite assassin arts were incredible. Furthermore, the Huo family's expert's sharp gaze saw that these assassins had a dark gold badge hanging on their waists. That was proof of their status. Dark gold rank assassins. In order to kill Long Chen, the Blood Kill Hall had actually sent over 30 dark gold assassins at the same time. This was a first in the history of the Blood Kill Hall. It could be seen that Long Chen had completely infuriated them, and they had to kill him to retrieve the dignity of the Blood Kill Hall. The Huo family expert sent out his orders. But the assassins completely ignored him. They didn't say a word. It was unknown whether they had consented or not. Seeing everyone charging at him, Long Chen felt a chill. There was no way he could beat 5C expansion experts at the same time. I can't keep holding back any longer. Three star battle armor. Clenching his teeth. Three stars appeared in Long Chen's eyes. An aura that caused heaven and earth to change color sword. Causing a loud rumbling. If he didn't take the initiative with this first attack against the 5C expansion experts, he wouldn't even be able to last a few breaths. He had to go all out. Split the heavens too. Long Chen's spiritual key crazily surged, immediately going through 9 acupuncture points. Normally, that would be the moment he would release the first form of split the heavens. But now, 
All the power of split the heavens stayed within his body and surged through another nine acupuncture points. If the heaven-splitting divine sect's disciples were to learn about this, they would definitely crap themselves in terror. Split the heavens was too terrifying, and if they wanted to use the second form, then they would have to discard 80% of the power of the first form, and then use only the remaining 20% to activate the second form. Even retaining 40% of the first form's power would cause their bodies to explode. That was just asking to die. But now Long Chen had retained all of the first form's power. He cultivated the nine-star hegemon body art, which made his physical body incomparably powerful. He was just barely able to endure this terrifying impact. But in the instant he activated the second form of split the heavens, cracks appeared on his body, and blood seeped out of his skin. He had already reached the limit of his physical body. An immense bloody blade pierced into the sky, looking like a divine weapon that could split apart heaven and earth. It instantly enveloped all five sea expansion experts. This was the strongest attack Long Chen had ever executed with his own strength. The instant that bloody blade appeared, the five sea expansion experts, six celestials, and thirty plus dark gold assassins were all horrified. They had never seen such a terrifying attack. The valiant will within it was something even heaven and earth would have to lower their heads to. Endless Blood Sea, a corrupt sea expansion expert used a secret art to push his power to his peak. Raging flames incinerate the heavens. The Huo family sea expansion expert no longer bothered hiding his identity. A huge flame blade appeared in the sky. The other sea expansion experts also brought out their strongest techniques. They definitely couldn't give Long Chen any breathing room. If they couldn't kill him with this exchange, they would die to the lightning. Even if they couldn't kill him with this move. They had to heavily injure him to give the Blood Kill Hall's assassins the chance to kill him. According to reason, in such a battle, Meridian opening cultivators were nothing. But the sea expansion experts placed high hopes on them because they were dark gold assassins. The six celestials also used their strongest attacks, working together with the sea expansion experts to kill Long Chen. They had less than a single breath of time before the human-shaped lightnings caught up to them. Today, life and death would be decided by this one exchange. Boom. Long Chen's saber slashed down, seeming to break apart the sky, colliding with their attacks. This was truly a world-shaking collision. A blinding light lit up the sky. The world seemed to have lost all its color, as a huge ball of light rapidly expanded. The ball of light devoured everything within 10,000 miles. There were still a few people in Chaos City that were watching this. Many of them had activated photographic jades to record everything. These few remaining people were the members of the restaurant, brothel and gambling house. Their powerful backgrounds had allowed them to escape from the slaughter. Crap. Run. These people suddenly realized something was wrong. They turned to flee, but it was too late for them. Terrifying astral winds directly raised Chaos City. Broken fragments of the city dashed in the air. The terrain had completely changed. A huge hole had formed in the ground, and terrifying astral winds still raged. Even the human-shaped lightnings were blown into the distance by the winds. The five sea expansion experts were sent flying, out of six celestials. Five of them almost exploded from the impact. However, one of them did actually explode. Another celestial had died. Long Chen didn't have it any better. His body was covered with cracks. Blood streamed out of him. In some places, his bones were already sticking out. He hastily circulated the primal chaos bead to heal. At the same time, he grumbled inside. This attack had exhausted all of his spiritual key. As expected, the more powerful it was, the more exhausting it would be to use. Die. Suddenly, a cold shout rang out. Long Chen was shocked to see the Blood Kill Hall's assassins appear in front of him without having taken any damage. The sea expansion experts were also shocked. They had never imagined Long Chen's attack would be so terrifying that even five of them were still injured after having worked together. However, they were also delighted inside as Long Chen was also heavily injured. The Blood Kill Hall's Dark Gold Assassins had already gone to reap his life. The Dark Gold Rank Assassins of the Blood Kill Hall were all given a life-saving measure. That was the badge on their waist. Once it was activated, they would be able to temporarily ignore any attack, which would give them time to flee. Dark Gold Assassins were too valuable, and they couldn't be allowed to be killed. He, everything's over, sneered a corrupt celestial as he climbed up from the ground. You want to kill me? Hopefully you still have more life-preserving measures. Long Chen suddenly formed a hand seal, and a spiritual fluctuation spread. A large white figure appeared by his side. Chapter 647 Phoenix Blood Black Gold Translator 
born to be Little Snow appeared in front of Long Chen. Opening his mouth, a dozen fist-sized windblade spheres shot out. Those spheres then erupted, releasing streams of windblades at the assassins. How is this possible? Didn't the report say Long Chen only has a fifth-rank magical beast? One of the assassins only had a chance to cry out before he was submerged by a current of wind blades and completely blown apart. These assassins didn't have a second badge, and all 30 of them were slaughtered. The wind blade streams didn't stop. They pierced into the ground, creating endless gulfs. This was Little Snow's first time releasing his full strength since advancing to the sixth rank. Even Long Chen was stupefied. Suddenly, a ray of light soared into the sky, and a huge light figure appeared. It was an ancient phoenix. Its golden wings spread in the sky. It was noble, sacred, and irresistibly grand. It even made people have an urge to kneel in worship. Phoenixes were divine beasts that had only ever existed in legends. However, now this image had appeared in the sky, and it was the exact same as the ancient images and carvings. This world actually did contain the existence known as the divine phoenix. The image of the phoenix circled in the sky and then slowly disappeared. However, the light still remained in the sky. Everyone's gaze followed that light down to its source, and their pupils shrank, wild delight appearing on their faces. Little Snow's attack had destroyed the land, revealing a huge chunk of ore thousands of meters long. This ore was the same shape as the phoenix image just now, compared to that immense image which had been thousands of miles long. It was much smaller. However, this ore shone with endless light. Everything within thousands of miles was bathed in a blood-red light. Phoenix blood black gold. One of the celestial shouted with a crazed joy and shot toward it. Phoenix blood black gold was treasure class material. Furthermore, it was a peak grade material amongst treasure class material. No one could resist its allure. PFFT. That person only just shot out when a human shaped lightning appeared beside him. With one punch, it directly blasted him to smithereens. Another celestial had fallen. Everyone's hearts shook. This bloody reality told them that they were still in the midst of the heavenly tribulation. Little Snow, were running. Long Chen suddenly jumped onto Little Snow's back. They quickly darted away. Two of the human-shaped lightnings had already locked onto him. Right now, his tribulation was no longer his own, but the tribulation for the realm above sea expansion. Since even sea expansion experts would be killed, there was no way he could face it. His only option was to rely on Little Snow's speed to stall until the sea expansion experts were all killed. Then the heavenly tribulation would return to normal. The sea expansion experts wanted to kill Long Chen, and Long Chen also wanted to kill them, but he didn't have the power right now, so he could only stall like this. A human-shaped lightning shot toward him. Although Long Chen hastily slashed out with his saber, he didn't dare to take it head-on because Little Snow wouldn't be able to take the impact. Boom. As a result, Long Chen and Little Snow were sent flying. It was fortunate that Little Snow had advanced to the sixth rank and his constitution had greatly improved. After being sent flying, he quickly stabilized in the air and then continued fleeing. Suddenly, another lightning figure shot over. Lai Long quickly wrapped around it. Bang! Lai Long was blown apart by the human-shaped lightning, turning into lightning runes. After being blown apart, Lai Long's runes once more condensed into its old form, and it continued to entangle the human-shaped lightning. Lai Long, don't face them head on. We just need to last longer, said Long Chen. He clearly saw that after Lai Long had been blown apart, it had shortened and its strength had dropped. Lai Long had been personally raised by him, as the two of them were connected mentally and Lai Long had also gained some spirituality. It could understand his meaning. Long Chen fled miserably. However, he didn't run very far as there was no point. The heavenly tribulation was locked onto him. If he ran too far, it would end up drawing the lightning tribulation with him. Then wouldn't he have ended up helping these fellows? Long Chen wasn't the kind of person who did good deeds without leaving his name. Even if he had to die, he would bring them down too. Long Chen appeared battered and miserable, but the corrupt path was in an even more dangerous situation. The remaining seven human-shaped lightning were all attacking them. A-H-H. -H. No. Suddenly, a woman's mournful shriek rang out. The soul cultivator was finally unable to endure it and was killed. There was no way around it. Soul cultivators possessed the weakest physical bodies. Previously, there had always been a sea expansion expert to protect her, which was the only reason why she had lasted until now. But now that the sea expansion experts could barely protect themselves, she was the first one to die. Following her cry, in less than a breath's time, another celestial couldn't hold on and died. 
The only celestial remaining was the muscular one with the spiked club. But once the people by his side were killed, he immediately became the focus of two human-shaped lightning. No, although he was extremely unwilling, his life was mercilessly harvested. After killing him, the two lightning figures charged toward the closest sea expansion expert. As soon as those lightning figures left, Long Chen arrived at the place where the Celestials had died. Their heavenly Dao runes were just about to fade. Since you've come, don't leave. Come to my tree. Long Chen slashed with his saber, destroying the heavenly Dao runes. He sensed those runes being absorbed by the primal chaos bead. Long Chen was delighted. As expected, the more brazen a person was, the greater the gains they could make. He had truly made a killing this time. Boom. Long Chen had just begun feeling pleased with himself when he was struck by a thunder force attack. He vomited blood, tumbling back with little snow. Little snow. Run. Now's the most critical moment. Whoever can last longer will live. Under Long Chen's urging, little snow focused completely on running. It was fortunate that these human-shaped lightnings only contained a simple destructive will, and they didn't know many battle techniques. Long Chen relied on his combat experience to keep them at bay, stalling for quite a bit of time. As the battle continued, the lightning grew even more terrifying. In the end, Long Chen could only flee. There was no way for him to exchange any blows with them. Ah, just as Long Chen felt like he might really die, a shrill shriek came from the corrupt path. But in Long Chen's ears, it sounded like the music of the heavens, sounding just as wonderful as Zi Yan's zither playing. It was truly a sound that could make flowers bloom within his heart and cause all his pores to cheer. One of the sea expansion experts was finally unable to endure and was killed. But as his physical body was destroyed, a soul flew out and was about to escape. However, even sea expansion experts were not capable of that. The lightning runes released by the human-shaped lightnings filled this entire space. And when his spiritual strength touched that sea of runes, it instantly exploded. Let alone him. Even that soul cultivator with her terrifying spiritual strength had been unable to escape her fate. Following his death, the other four sea expansion experts immediately despaired. The four of them were now dealing with seven human-shaped lightnings. The pressure immediately multiplied. PFFT. Another sea expansion expert was killed. His corpse blown to bits and his soul scattered. The two of them dying was like the breaking of a dam. The sea expansion experts had fallen into despair. Almost immediately. The other two corrupt sea expansion experts were also killed. The only one remaining was the Huo family's elder. Previously, he had relied on his mid-sea expansion cultivation base to just barely keep himself alive. But now that the other four had died, he had no chance against seven human-shaped lightnings. He despaired. He felt regret. He regretted ever plotting this operation. In order to kill a Meridian opening rookie, he had ended up causing his own downfall. Long Chen, I won't let you off. Just wait, he suddenly shouted, and his body became covered with endless flames, raging fire, blazing cycle, abandon my body, protect my soul, raging flame soul rebirth art, following a furious roar, the Huo family sea expansion expert was instantly burnt to ash, a soul enveloped by flame shot through the sea of lightning runes and disappeared, as expected, the Huo family's foundation is truly thick, he actually has such a secret art, however, once such a technique is used, his spiritual strength will be half crippled. But I suppose it's not a bad exchange for preserving his life. Long Chen watched as he left. The endless lightning rune sea suddenly dissipated, and the aura of the human-shaped lightnings dropped a great deal. Suddenly, Lai Long let out a furious roar and actually devoured one of them in one gulp. Seeing that, Long Chen was delighted. Split the heavens. The eight human-shaped lightnings were blown back by Long Chen's attack. Lai Long opened its mouth and devoured all of them. It then turned into a ray of light that returned to Long Chen's arm. The tribulation cloud scattered, revealing a starry sky. During this battle, the day had silently passed into night. Ha ha ha, Lai Long is actually so powerful. Even without my help, it can still refine them. Long Chen had originally thought he would have to do the same thing as last time and help it suppress the lightning runes. But unexpectedly, Lai Long's strength had already risen to the point that it could suppress the nine human-shaped lightnings on its own. However, to fully refine them would require some time. But Long Chen trusted that once that was finished, Lai Long would definitely become incomparably terrifying. Seeing that Lai Long was fine, Long Chen hastily rushed toward a certain place. A pillar of light was still soaring into the sky from there. A priceless treasure was waiting for him. Chapter 648 New Journey Translator
Born to be this is Phoenix Blood Black Gold? I've truly struck it rich. The Phoenix Blood Black Gold appeared as if it had been made from blood. The red light that came from it made it seem like the entire world was bathed in blood. The ore was in the shape of a phoenix. Long Chen couldn't help but wonder. Had a phoenix truly died here? Ah, I can't leave you just lying all alone here. Long Chen grabbed the phoenix blood black ore, but he found that he was unable to even budge it. What the fuck? I can't take it. Long Chen was immediately flabbergasted. This phoenix blood black ore was too heavy. There was no way for him to absorb it into the primal chaos space. Buzz. Suddenly, Bloodrinker let out a cry. Its blood-colored marks lit up, shining on the phoenix blood black gold. Long Chen was startled to see that it seemed like it had met some kind of summoning, and it slowly came out of the ground. He was delighted, and not bothering with why such a thing was happening, he hastily absorbed it into the primal chaos space. With it floating in the air, it was easily absorbed, but as a result, it thudded into the ground of the primal chaos space, causing everything to shake. Only now did Long Chen notice that the primal chaos space had grown from 300 miles to 3000 miles wide. It was extremely expansive, but now wasn't the time for that. Jumping on Little Snow's back and picking a direction, he fled. Long Chen held on to Little Snow. He was already completely exhausted, and he fainted. This battle had been too dangerous. By now, all the life energy in the primal chaos space had been used up. Even the little bit in the medicinal ingredients hadn't been spared. It could be said that Long Chen had truly pushed himself to his breaking point. If it hadn't been for Lai Long, in the end, he would have had no assurance in being able to defeat during final human-shaped lightnings. Although the sea expansion experts had died, the lightning had still been extremely terrifying. If Long Chen had been in his peak state, then he wouldn't have had to be afraid. But by that time, he had been completely exhausted and hadn't had the strength to fight them. It was all thanks to the fact that Lai Long came from the same source as the Heavenly Tribulation. The nine human-shaped lightning hadn't possessed any intelligence, and so they hadn't attacked their brother. That was the only reason why they could be devoured so easily and slowly refined. It could be said that Long Chen's tribulation this time had been like dancing on the tip of a blade. Luck had played a major role in his survival. After he fainted, endless darkness appeared before him. It was like the entire world had been devoured by it. Long Chen was extremely familiar with this scene. It had appeared several times now. As expected, after the darkness appeared, that voice once more rang out. I've sensed you again, meaning your strength has once more risen. However, the world barrier grows weaker and weaker. I can barely sense you now. Perhaps I will never be able to communicate with you through the ten planar worlds again. All you need to know is that the fate of millions of lives is in your hands. You have to. Suddenly. Long Chen felt a powerful vibration within this dark world, and somehow the darkness grew even darker, so dark that it caused despair. The voice also came to a sudden stop. He didn't know how much time had passed before he finally opened his eyes. Little Snow was still running. Only after asking him did he learn that it had already been three days. Long Chen had Little Snow stop by a fresh stream. Drinking some water, he rested, adjusting his condition. After this slumber, many things had appeared in his head. What made Long Chen delighted was that the formula for the fourth star, the Enlightenment Palace star, had finally appeared in his head. The only thing that made him a bit depressed was that the pill formula required 136 sixth tier supplementary medicinal ingredients, 28 of which he did not have. There were also 9 main sixth tier ingredients, of which he was lacking one. It had to be known that Long Chen had long since entrusted Shen Wenlong with gathering all kinds of rare medicines for him. But even with Zhen Wenlong's efficiency, he was still unable to obtain those medicines. That meant these ingredients were incredibly rare. Rare to the point that even the Huai insect would require a long time to find them. Refining the Enlightenment Palace pill was one problem. But he had a bigger problem. That was that voice. Now, Long Chen had confirmed this voice was not the voice of the dragon expert. He didn't know where it was coming from. But each time it appeared, he would feel like his head was lost in a haze. He felt more and more pressed for time, but as for why, he was unable to tell. That made him extremely vexed. If he knew what the reason behind this was, perhaps he could come up with some way to handle it. But Long Chen had no idea what the danger this voice kept speaking of was. That was what irritated him the most. Pill God Memories? Nine Star Hegemon Body Art? Ten Planar Worlds? What are they? Long Chen rubbed his head bitterly. This was a complete muddle, and there was nothing for him to form a good theory on. Furthermore, having cultivated to this point, 
he had felt that he was getting closer to having the qualifications to find out about the origins of his parents. But after hearing about the structure of the Martial Heaven continent, he realized he was far too minute. There was still a long journey before he could stand at the peak of the Martial Path. A green scale appeared in his hand. Right now, the power of the scale was completely locked inside it. That was something the dragon expert had done to maintain the essence blood inside it. Having advanced to Xi'anchen and undergone the baptism of the lightning tribulation, my physical body has grown much stronger, but I still sense a great danger from the scale. I'm still unable to refine it. Long Chen didn't know exactly what level his physical body had reached, but he knew that he had undergone a complete transformation this time. The energy within him was like a volcano that wished to explode. Long Chen trusted that with his current strength, he no longer needed to fear early sea expansion experts. However, one discovery angered him. It was true that he had gotten stronger, and his spiritual key had transformed from a gaseous state to a liquid state, becoming spiritual yuan. But no matter how he tried, he was unable to use his spiritual key to control the natural energy like others. He was unable to form a resonance with heaven and earth. He cursed in fury. His cultivation path was completely different from others. He couldn't try cultivating like others. But fortunately the nine-star hegemon body art was so powerful. Who cared if the heavens rejected him? He could refine his own pills and forge his own path. He didn't need the damn energy of heaven and earth. Long Chen sank into thought. He needed to be cool-headed right now. He pondered his future cultivation path. Currently, the corrupt path would definitely do whatever they could to kill him. They had sent five sea expansion experts, nine celestials, and 80,000 Xi'anchen elites but they had all been exterminated because of Long Chen. If news of that got out, the entire eastern wasteland would be shaken. That was too dangerous. He could become the target of the corrupt path as well as the righteous path. Furthermore, the Blood Kill Hall wouldn't leave things as they were either. The Blood Kill Hall's assassins were too terrifying. Their concealing arts were monstrous, as even the heavenly Deos had been unable to sense them. Even Long Chen hadn't imagined that they would dare hide right beside him while he underwent tribulation. If the sea expansion expert hadn't released his aura, perhaps Long Chen really might have suffered from their sudden attack. Right now, Long Chen could be considered to be surrounded by enemies. This was no good. He had to think of something else. The Dragonblood Legion had just advanced to Xi'anshan, and this perfect advancement had laid down a solid foundation for their future path. Their future prospects were unlimited. Tang Wan'er and Men Qi had now become celestials. That would definitely shake the Xi'anshan Deo sect and they would be given special care. He had no need to worry about that side. Damn it. After all this thinking, aren't I the only one who needs to be worried about? He realized that everyone else's paths had already been set up perfectly. Only he had to choose something unorthodox. If he returned to the Zuanshan Supermonastery, he would also be given great care by the Zuanshan Deo sect. He would most likely be directly sent through the Supermonastery to the branch sect. It went without saying that he would end up joining the Shu family. Once he joined the Shu family, he would once again be at the heart of the struggle. The Zhao family and the Shu family were like water and fire. Long Chen disliked that kind of idiotic inner strife. So he decided returning was not an option. Oh, how could I forget about that? Long Chen suddenly thought of a certain thing. That was a tablet he had obtained in Phoenix Cry. Grandmaster Yun Qi had bestowed it to him. This was a token of Pill Valley. Grandmaster Yun Qi had once said that only someone who had reached the Pill King rank before 18 had the qualifications to use that tablet to join Pill Valley. Later, Long Chen had asked around and found that his words had been off. It was true that you could join Pill Valley with this tablet. But first, you had to go through the Pill Tower's selection. Pill King only represented that someone could refine fourth-tier medicinal pills. Long Chen had already advanced to the Xi'anchen realm, and his spiritual strength was as vast as an ocean. His refining arts were especially so exquisite that he could look down on anyone else. If he went to the pill tower, there were many things he could do. One was to gather all the medicinal ingredients for the Enlightenment Palace Star. Of course, the more kinds of medicinal ingredients the better. He had more than enough space. The other thing to do was to prepare a gift for the Huo family. Not doing so wouldn't be in accordance with his style. The most important thing was that if Long Chen didn't condense the Enlightenment Palace Star, he wouldn't be able to bring his body to its peak state and refine the green dragon essence blood. With the green dragon body tempering art, his power would lead to a whole new level. For all these reasons, after carefully thinking about everything, Long Chen decided to go be an obedient student at the pill tower.
Following that decision, he borrowed the stream water to dissolve a high tear appear on our changing pill. Applying that mixture on himself, his skin quickly changed color to become slightly dark, glowing with a healthy light. He adjusted portions of his face, but he didn't need to make too many adjustments. There were far too many people in this world, and there were many people who looked alike. His bra ridge was now slightly raised, and the corner of his eye was slightly sunken. Two dimples appeared when he smiled which made him appear handsome. But no matter how a person looked at him, he wouldn't seem like a good person. He, this is the best. It won't draw other people's jealousy. Long Chen looked at himself in the mirror. With a pleased smile, he led Little Snow away from the stream. Chapter 649 Ugly Face Translator Born to be the news that the chaos region had been destroyed within a single day rapidly spread. As soon as Shu Wuhan returned to the super monastery, she alerted the Dao sect that the corrupt path had publicly broken the agreement, and their experts were currently bathing the chaos region in the blood of the righteous path. The Zhuangshan Dao sect was completely infuriated. They immediately transmitted this news to the various large righteous sects. They also immediately dispatched experts to join Shu Wuhan in killing their way into the chaos region. But the chaos region was located in an extremely isolated and far off region of the eastern wasteland. It took several transportation formations as well as a great deal of travel to get there. As a result, it was already the next day by the time they arrived. The righteous path had been filled with killing intent and just been about to settle the bill with the corrupt path when they saw everything within a range of 10,000 miles had been turned into an abyss. They were all shocked. How was this the chaos region? Even Xi'anshan experts wouldn't dare to enter this place due to the lingering destructive aura. If a meridian opening expert tried to go in, they would immediately be annihilated by that destructive aura. This had become a hell on earth, let alone them. Even Shu Wuhan was dumbfounded. She had been hoping that by leading all these people, she could save Long Chen. Although that hope had been remote, she was extremely confident in Long Chen. Perhaps Long Chen really could have created a miracle and lasted until she arrived. But when she had left, this place had been a battlefield. Now that she returned, it had turned into this. If there weren't still some markings in the surroundings, she would suspect that this wasn't even the chaos region. Where were the 5C expansion experts? Where were the celestials? Where was the army of tens of thousands of corrupt disciples? How could they all disappear? And looking around, she saw no signs of an army leaving. What had happened here? Although she had no idea what had happened, there was one thing she was sure of. This definitely was because of Long Chen. Later, the other experts guessed that heavenly punishment had occurred here. This heavenly punishment wasn't referring to heavenly tribulation. Heavenly punishment was the wrath of the heavenly deos. It was divine punishment, one that would exterminate everything. They came to that conclusion due to the endless destructive aura remaining on the ground. Heavenly tribulation was used to temper a person's body. Although it also contained some destructive aura, 90% of it was life energy. But this destructive lightning aura didn't contain the slightest bit of life. It was entirely destructive. This could only be called heavenly punishment. The punishment of the heavenly deos. Could it be that the corrupt path slaughtered too many people? And so the heavens decided to make them pay a price. Although this theory was a bit absurd. It was the only explanation that they could think of. On the same day that the righteous experts arrived. The corrupt path's experts also appeared. The corrupt path had suddenly stopped receiving any updates about their operation this time, and feeling that something was off, they had sent some experts to investigate. As soon as they appeared, the righteous path surrounded them. The corrupt path had only sent some people to investigate, and they were much weaker than the army the righteous path had brought. They were instantly caught. An expert soul cultivator directly soul sarked them, and after that soul sark, he laughed heartily. Five Grand Sea Expansion Experts. 9 Celestials, and 80,000 Zyanshan Elites. Ha ha ha, good. The corrupt path was really screwed this time. From Soul Sarking, he learned about the general situation. When the others heard these many corrupt experts had come here to steal the ores but had clearly died here, the righteous path cheered and clapped. But just after they began to cheer, they realized the people from the Zuanshan Dao sect were all extremely gloomy. They immediately realized the truth. Stealing the ores had just been an excuse for the corrupt path. Their true goal had been to kill Long Chen. In order to do so, they had even been willing to set up an incredibly giant formation. Thinking of that, they thought of who Long Chen was. He wasn't even a celestial, but he had managed to defy a Turing Yun Wusheng. That was enough to show that his future accomplishments would be limitless. But how did such a genius get sent to a place like this? 
People began to quietly ask this question to the members of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, causing their expressions to become even uglier. I told you this was a trap, a trap to kill Long Chen, but you wouldn't believe me. It's all your fault that Long Chen has died. Xu Wuhan's eyes were red, and she raged at a group of elders. No one could survive this kind of heavenly punishment. Long Chen was definitely dead. Thinking of that, Xu Wuhan's tears streamed down. Cough. You can't put it like that. It was just an accident, said an elder. Nonsense. It was your Zhao family that constantly targeted Long Chen. Did you think no one noticed the fact that you accepted bribes from the pill tower to intentionally punish Long Chen? Raged Xu Wuhan. There were thousands of righteous experts here. They were all people who had had minds here, which also meant they were powerful people with their own status. Xu Wuhan's furious roars immediately drew all their attention. You, don't randomly make up lies to slander my Zhao family. The elder was also enraged, but he did his best to cover it up, panic flashing in the depths of his eyes. Slander? Ha ha, ha ha ha. Just how many people in the Zhuangshan Dao sect don't know about your Zhao family's despicable actions? Do I even need to slander you? HMPH, your Shu family isn't any better snorted the Zhao family elder. Wuhan, don't say any more. If you want to talk about it, wait until we return to the sect now isn't the time, ordered a lean elder. He was someone beyond the sea expansion realm, someone known as an ancestor level expert. His voice and aura were both filled with majesty. By arguing here, the two of them would only cause others to laugh at the Zhuangshan Dao sect. So he hastily stopped them. We'll talk once we return to the sect? What will we talk about? Who is going to listen? I already said that this was a trap targeting Long Chen. But what did you say? All you said was that you would discuss it later. And wasn't the result that later became tomorrow. And tomorrow became the day after. Now, Long Chen is dead. Are you happy? Raged Xu Wuhan. Silence. Xu Wuhan. Using my status as vice sect master. I order you to return to your super monastery immediately. Ordered the elder. Fine. I'm going. I want to see just how you would deal with everyone's ridicule. Xu Wuhan wiped off her tears. Wings appeared on her back and she disappeared from everyone's gazes. The righteous paths experts all had odd expressions. Everyone here was an old fox. From just their short exchanges, they could tell most of what had happened. After all, in the righteous path, these kinds of secret backstabs were far too common. However, only a few people had any sympathies. In fact, there were many more that were delighted in their misfortune. Of course, they couldn't display that. They had to act as if it was a great pity. Fortunately for them, that was the act they were most proficient in. Long Chen, a generation's genius, a hero that died in his prime. How regretful. Let me express my sorrow for your sect. Long Chen was truly a hero. His sacrifice was worth it. I feel like your sect should compensate his family. Long Chen sacrificed himself. But 5C expansion experts, 9 celestials, and 80,000 Xi'anshan disciples were also killed with him. I feel like you should immediately establish a statue to commemorate his heroic sacrifice. After a few consolatory words, they said their goodbyes. There was nothing else for them to do, as there had originally been less and less ore coming out of these mines recently. They had only come in order to demand an explanation from the corrupt path. But considering how heavy the losses of the corrupt path were, their own losses were nothing. The corrupt path was definitely filled with fury now, and it was not suitable to get into contact with them. So leaving was the best option. The corrupt path was filled with madmen. Considering how angry they were, there was no telling what kind of crazy things they would do. They had to return and make their preparations against any possible sneak attacks from them. If they were caught unprepared, it would be troublesome. Long Chen's death had nothing to do with them. Actually, the death of a peerless genius wouldn't bring them any grief. In fact, now they had one less competitor to worry about. They want us to build a statue in commemoration for Long Chen? Their heads must have rotted, muttered the Zhao family elder. Shut up. I think your head is the one that has rotted. Don't think I don't know what vile acts your Zhao family have committed. But this time, you've really gone too far. Don't let me find any proof. Or don't blame me for the consequences, roared the vice sect master. With a gloomy expression, he led Izuanshan Dao sect's people away. Seven days later. Long Chen appeared in a Huaian auction house within the secular world. In a private room, he was facing Zhen Wenlong. Brother Long, thank goodness you're still alive. Zhen Wenlong gave Long Chen a tight embrace and then hit him. When I heard you were dead, I even thought about killing myself to end it. I would never be able to repay my debt. Long Chen laughed, knowing he was just joking. 
Zhen Wenlong was truly a good brother. Long Chen sensed his sincere emotions. Long Chen had stealthily arranged to meet Zhen Wenlong here through the auction house. He gave Zhen Wenlong a letter for Xu Wuhan so that she and the others wouldn't worry. However, for now, it was best if Long Chen remained dead. At the same time, he had Zhen Wenlong send some things to Tang Wan'er and the others. Furthermore, he had to continue borrowing more money from him. The thing that depressed him was that his lightning tribulation had been too terrifying, and he hadn't been able to gather any spatial rings from it. Following the deaths of their masters, spatial rings would lose the protection of their master's soul. That made them much weaker, and under the terrifying impact of his heavenly tribulation, they had been completely destroyed. The only thing Long Chen could do was give Zhen Wenlong a ring with a large batch of medicinal sprouts. As for how Zhen Wenlong sold them, it would be up to him. In any case, it wasn't enough to repay his debt. After setting that up, Long Chen told Zhen Wenlong repeatedly not to leak the news that he was alive. He was about to undergo a quiet and peaceful life. If he needed to find Zhen Wenlong, he would contact him secretly. The two of them set up a secret phrase. When Long Chen went to Huaian auction houses in the future, he would tell them to tell Zhen Wenlong this phrase, and he would immediately come to see Long Chen. After sending off Zhen Wenlong, Long Chen once more put on his disguise. He then brazenly swaggered right out of the Huaian auction house. Chapter 650 Consequences Translator Born to be Shu Wuhan was filled with grief when she returned to the Zhuanshan Super Monastery. The only thing in her mind was his warm, brotherly smile. It was like the sound of him calling her big sister was still echoing. She wished she was overthinking things and that he hadn't died. But within the chaos region, the righteous experts had found quite a few enchanted item fragments. Those were weapons of sea expansion experts. If even such weapons had shattered, then it could be seen just how terrifying that heavenly punishment had been. Even sea expansion experts would have to die. Just how was Long Chen supposed to survive? In other people's eyes, it had been extremely worthwhile for Long Chen to sacrifice himself to bring all those people to the grave with him. But in Chu Wuhan's heart, it didn't matter how many corrupt experts he had brought down. Not even all their lives added up together were worth Long Chen's. Seeing other people's barely concealed expressions of joy, she felt like needles were stabbing into her heart. The Zhuanshan Dao sect had sent down word that Long Chen was a hero of the sect and that they had carved his name onto their stell of heroes, an extremely rare honor. But so what? Seeing Tang Wan'er and Men Qi's hopeful gazes, Xu Wuhan could only tell them that he had disappeared, and they were doing their best to search for him. Now, ten days had passed. She didn't even dare leave her room, afraid of seeing Men Qi or the others, afraid of them asking her for news about Long Chen. As for Zhao King Gai, she had spent these days doing her best to fawn over Menki and Tang Wan'er. The two of them had become celestials, and she had received orders from her family to pull them to their side. As a result, the two of them didn't say a single word to her, which caused Cao King Ai to feel dejected and infuriated. But she didn't dare release that fury, and she could only thicken her skin, continuing to suck up. In the end, Tang Wan'er directly announced that they were going into seclusion, and only then did they escape from her harassment. Zhao King Ai's actions actually ended up helping Xu Wuhan, as it was only now that she dared come out of her room, reporting to the monastery head, the Huaian sect Zhen Wenlong wishes to see you. Xu Wuhan was startled. Wasn't Zhen Wenlong someone close to Long Chen? Why would he come to see her? With the Huaian sect's power, they should have long since received word of what had happened. A possibility popped into her mind, and she didn't receive Zhen Wenlong in the large hall, instead meeting him in a private room. When Zhen Wenlong gave her the letter Long Chen had personally written, she could not be more emotional. She didn't even know when Zhen Wenlong left. This little scoundrel, as expected, his life really is hardy. Even the heavens can't take it. Xu Wuhan sensed Long Chen's specific spiritual imprint on the letter. She was now absolutely sure he was fine. She felt incomparably relaxed, feeling like she had immediately returned to her maidenhood. He wants to go to the Pill Tower to pursue his studies? HMPH. If a hooligan like you goes to the pill tower, it'd be strange if some kind of disaster didn't befall them. Seeing his tactful words, Xu Wuhan bitterly smiled, shaking her head. She felt some sorrow for the pill tower. In this world, there were things that you couldn't imagine, but there were no things that Long Chen wouldn't dare do. Long Chen's mind was always filled with the wildest thoughts. The most frightful thing was that he didn't just think of those thoughts, but he also dared to do them. Thinking of Long Chen's previous experiences, it seemed he had never done anything like an ordinary person would, and whatever he did, 
He also caused such a huge commotion. Fine. Go be a disaster over there. Our super monastery can have some peace. Shu Wuhan smiled. That smile was one delighting in someone else's misfortune. Long Chen had sent her a total of three things. A letter, a photographic jade, and a spatial ring. The spatial ring was for Tang Wan'er, so she didn't touch it. She activated the photographic jade instead. What? The Zhao family was actually this involved. Shu Wuhan was startled. The photographic jade had a record of Zhao Kun's words from back then. His admittance to the Zhao family being used by the Pill Tower, colluding with the corrupt path and trying to kill Long Chen were all clearly recorded. Even the death of the Zhao family's elders, the corrupt celestials, and the Huo family elder that had been exposed were recorded. Everything was extremely obvious and indisputable. He, Zhao family, let me see just how you will try to quibble this time. Xu Wuhan personally went to give the spatial ring to Tang Wan'er. Now she no longer had to have so many worries, and she was practically in glowing spirits. Tang Wan'er received the spatial ring and saw another photographic jade inside, as well as a letter. The letter said that Tang Wan'er should tell everyone not to rapidly cultivate. The Xi'anshan realm was a realm for comprehending the heavenly deos. Mental realm and comprehension were more important in this realm. Only once they could perfectly control natural energy could they release the strongest possible attacks. Just having their cultivation bases rise without that comprehension would have no meaning. When she activated the photographic jade, Tang Wan'er bitterly laughed. Long Chen had found himself another beauty, but then hearing Zi Yan's zither music, she felt like her heart had been cleansed, as if her soul had been purified. Her mind became completely at peace. This is a legendary soul calming song. Even Chu Wuhan was greatly startled. This kind of soul calming song only existed in legends. It was said that a single soul calming song could cause a person to become completely relaxed and allow their mental realm to advance as much as it would through a thousand days of cultivation. After hearing it, even Shu Wuhan felt like she had entered a special state, and her mental realm had advanced a trace. This sister has amazing zither arts, praised Men Qi. It's not just her zither arts that are amazing. She's outrageously beautiful. That bastard, Tang Wan'er was clearly a bit jealous. The bastard she was referring to was naturally Long Chen. Long Chen had repeatedly said that he had been completely obedient outside and hadn't done anything impure. But then what was this photographic jade? One or a single photographic jade can't represent anything. This soul calming song is practically godsent for us. So don't be petty. Laughed Men Qi. I'm not being petty. Then why are your eyes so red? Teased Men Qi. Sister, you're also evil now. Tang Wan'er blushed. She really was unhappy that Long Chen had hidden this matter from them. Xu Wuhan shook her head. You two really are like children. This woman's mental realm is exceedingly high, untouched by mundane affairs. How could she get involved in romantic matters? Music Deo cultivators are extremely special. The majority of them are women, and it's said that in all their lives, they will never involve themselves in such affairs. Your worries are for nothing. One or monastery head. I. I'm just mad that Long Chen didn't tell us. I'm not jealous. Tang Wan'er turned even redder. This soul calming song is truly a priceless treasure. Take care of it, and don't let anyone else find out about it. I will set up a private room for you all so that no one can disturb you. In the Xi'anshan realm, comprehension is more important than cultivation. Use the soul calming jade to cleanse your minds every day, and your mental realms will advance rapidly. I'll also profit from this soul calming song. Perhaps I can find an opportunity to break through with its assistance. By Shu Wuhan's realm, breaking through wasn't just a matter of hard work. It needed comprehension, or you would never break through within your lifetime. Anyone who could cultivate to the sea expansion realm was a genius among geniuses. But to take the next step not only required perseverance and talent, but also luck and opportunity. Monastery head, do you want to go into seclusion with us? Asked Tang Wan'er. Long Chen had always been cheeky toward Shu Wuhan, but that was limited to when it was the two of them alone. Normally, when others were present, Long Chen would maintain a certain distance from Shu Wuhan. After all, she was the monastery head, and when there were outsiders present, Long Chen would always act extremely respectful. Tang Wan'er and the others only knew that Shu Wuhan had always been looking after Long Chen. They didn't know just how close they were. I also want that, but I need some time first. I have an extremely important matter to handle. Remember, don't let anyone know about Long Chen. After warning them, she directly brought Cao King Ai to the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Cao King Ai was extremely curious, but all Shu Wuhan said was that something big was about to happen. 
Something big really did go down. When the four families and the Visect Master were present, Xu Wuhan revealed the photographic Jade Long Chen had given her. The Zhao family immediately became paralyzed with terror. Colluding with the corrupt path was punishable by the extermination of their entire family. The Visect Master's expression had immediately turned dark. He icily stared at the Zhao family's people with fury. I'll give you one chance to give me a satisfactory explanation. The Visect Master's roar caused everyone to jump. However, the Zhao family's people were truly worthy of being wily old foxes. There was no direct proof that they had truly done this. After all, they couldn't just listen to one side of the story, and one person's word was not enough to say anything. The Zhao family's patriarch immediately underwent a thorough investigation of this matter. The truth quickly surfaced. It was Zhao King Gai and her son who had received a bribe from the Pill Tower to secretly collude with the corrupt path to kill Long Chen. In order to prove the Zhao family's position, they executed Zhao King Gai and her son that very day. When Zhao King Gai's head, with its terrified and unwilling expression, fell to the ground in front of everyone, everyone side inside. Why bother? For an intersect competition, they had actually thrown in a sea expansion expert. It had to be known that the entire Zhao family only had eight sea expansion experts. The happiest one would have to be the Shu family. The Shu family had truly completely defeated the Zhao family. Furthermore, the Zhao family patriarch had personally gone to ask the Shu family for lenience. He asked the Shu family to not continue pursuing this matter. This way, they could turn this major problem into a minor one, and then make it disappear altogether. Of course, the Zhao family also prepared a special gift that even the Shu family hadn't been able to refuse. For at least a short time, the Zhao family would not dare to fight against the Shu family again. Other than this, there was also the matter of the Pill Tower urging things from behind. That infuriated the Zhuanshan Dao sect, and they immediately sent people to the Pill Tower for an explanation. Although they knew the Pill Tower would definitely not admit to anything, at the very least, it would tell them not to treat others like idiots. They shouldn't go too far. Of course, the Dao sect would definitely demand some compensation, or if this matter was announced, the Pill Tower's prestige would drop to the ground. The Zhao family had suffered a serious blow, but although they said that they admitted their defeat, in reality, they were like a poisonous viper that had retreated into its cave, just waiting for a chance to inject their fangs into the hearts of their opponents. After handling the Zhao family, Xu Wuhan also reported the news that Tang Wan'er and Men Qi had awakened as celestials. The Visect Master had immediately ordered her to groom them with her fullest capabilities. Whatever they wanted, they would get. Only then did Xu Wuhan return to the Super Monastery perfectly contented. Now, the 36th Super Monastery was truly about to rise. They would quickly be able to compete with the other Super Monasteries for the qualifications to enter the immemorial pathway. Xu Wuhan was filled with expectations. It had to be known that she not only had Men Qi and Tang Wan'er in her hands, but she also had a person whose name was enough to strike terror in the hearts of his enemies. He was currently pursuing his studies, but who could tell what kind of disaster he would cause in the Pill Tower? She was very much looking forward to that. All she needed to do was wait for the news. Chapter 651 Entering the Treasure Region Translator Born to be Pil Yang Prefecture Amongst the surrounding prefectures, it was the one with the smallest territory. Its perimeter was merely 10,000 miles. It was around the same size as the Chaos region. But of all the prefectures in the eastern wasteland, it was the richest prefecture. Furthermore, this prefecture only had one master, the Pill Tower. Everything here was controlled by the Pill Tower. There was no sect or power that could establish itself here. There was also no one who dared try to take a bite of this prefecture's profit. Pil Yang Prefecture was a paradise for alchemists. Thus, most of the cultivators here were alchemists. The reason why the Pill Tower could gather over 80% of all alchemists in the eastern wasteland wasn't just because of its wealth and resources, but because of its extremely precious alchemy tomes. Only by entering the Pill Tower could you study those ancient pill arts that had been passed down from ancient times. Only by entering the Pill Tower could you reach the peak of the Pill Deo. That was the first thing alchemy masters imparted to their disciples. Only by entering the Pill Tower would you have a chance of entering the Holy Land of Cultivation, Pill Valley. Pill Valley represented the supreme authority of this world's alchemy arts. It was the most sacred power in this world. There was not a single alchemist who didn't treat joining Pill Valley as their lifelong ambition. Pil Yang Prefecture was actually one city, a monstrously enormous city. 
There were dozens of roads that were over 30 miles wide to allow for the carriages to pass. All of the carriages were being pulled by Xi'anchen magical beasts. Weaker magical beasts weren't even able to run fast enough. The city was just too big. If you didn't have good means of transportation, it might take you many days just to get to the other end of the city. Above the city, it was common to see large magical beasts flying, but the people below were too lazy to even look at those enormous figures. This was the Pill Tower's territory, and no one dared be unbridled here. No matter how fierce a person was, they had to be obedient here. The flying magical beasts were all registered with the Pill Tower. Each of those magical beasts had a large symbol around their neck which was a pass to fly here. Without it, they would be killed by the Pill Tower's guards. The flying passes were extremely limited. Not just anyone had the qualifications to obtain one. Those who could sit on flying magical beasts all had high statuses. Within Pilyang Prefecture, there was a large tower. A tower so high that it soared into the clouds. It was impossible to see its top. This was the Pill Tower's symbolic building, the Seven Treasure Jewel Tower. It was forbidden to fly within thousands of miles of the tower. No one could fly around there, or the magical beast and its master would be instantly killed. This was the core region of the Pill Tower, and it was called the Treasure Tower region. Only alchemists had the qualifications to enter this place. Other cultivators were forbidden. Outside the Treasure Tower region, Long Chen was sitting in the corner of a restaurant, looking at the scenery outside. He was having a drink on his own. This was his third day here. He had pretty much familiarized himself with this unfamiliar environment. He had also learned some common knowledge regarding the pill tower. It should be enough. After eating and drinking his fill, Long Chen went to find somewhere to rest and think of how he would muddle his way into the pill tower. Without realizing it, Long Chen walked into a remote alley. This alley was a bit shabby and was extremely unremarkable. It was precisely the kind of place he wanted. Does sir want a place to rest? Our rooms are very clean, and the price is exceptionally cheap. Come and have a look. Long Chen was in the midst of walking when a small door opened, and a girl appearing 13 or 14 years old shyly peeked out. This girl couldn't count as beautiful. She was extremely thin, and her complexion was an unhealthy yellow color. It was clear that she had some malnutrition problems, but her eyes were extremely lively, and they made people feel pity for her. It sounds like you've been waiting to say those words for a long time. Long Chen laughed. His words were said extremely stiffly. This girl had only summoned the courage to come out when she saw someone was passing. But then seeing Long Chen's evil smile, a trace of panic filled her. I, I, the girl clenched her robes, afraid to say anything. Long Chen couldn't help laughing. It seemed his new face had ended up scaring her. No need to be afraid. I'm not a good person, but I'm not a bad person either. Long Chen hadn't changed his voice. It was still very magnetic, and it made her relax slightly. Does sir want a place to rest? Our rooms are very clean, and the price is exceptionally cheap. Come and have a look. She repeated her words, hope appearing in her eyes. Yes, now it sounds better. Your words don't sound as stiff as before. In recognition of your advancement, I'll agree to take a look. But let me say this first. If it's not satisfactory, I won't be staying there. Long Chen laughed. Yes. Yes, please enter. The girl hastily led the way with delight. Long Chen walked in through the gate and took his first look at the inside. How was this an inn? It was clearly a small farmer's yard. There was a two-story wooden house. The farming tools hadn't even been put away. And Long Chen even saw the head of a hoe and sickle behind a wooden plank. But this place was very tidy. Entering the house, he walked up to the second floor. The girl opened up a door, revealing a bed. And then, there was nothing else not even a table. It could not be more simple. There were sheets on the bed, and they were very orderly, but they were clearly not new. However, they had been cleaned very well, and Long Chen could still smell the scent of the sun. The sheets had most likely been hung and dried outside, and he did like that kind of feeling. Looking out of a very small window, he saw a small pond with a small boat floating on the water. It wasn't a bad picture. Are you satisfied? If there's anything you're not happy with, just ask and I'll do my best to fix it, said the girl worriedly. It's not bad. It's very simple and charming. Lying on the bed, you can even count the stars. Long Chen nodded. Aya. The girl followed Long Chen's gaze and blushed. There was a plate-sized hole in the roof that she hadn't noticed before. Sir, please wait a moment. I'll immediately go fix it. She was just about to go find a ladder. It's fine. It won't rain for a few days. This kind of sunroof is not bad. If you block it, it'll just look like an eyesore, said Long Chen. Sir, you really are interesting. 
Following Long Chen's jesting, the girl was no longer as nervous as before. How much is this room? Asked Long Chen. An embarrassed look crept over the girl's face. Gulping, she stuttered. How about one silver for one day? One silver a day. Long Chen frowned. Ah, if you think it's too expensive, we can discuss it. The girl jumped in fright, afraid he might leave. Within the expensive territory of the Pilyang Prefecture, that price is way too low, laughed Long Chen. Hearing that Long Chen wasn't mad about the price, the girl was extremely grateful. She sadly explained, My grandpa saved up for many years in order to buy this property. We hoped to turn it into an inn to make some money. But my grandpa is old, and his eyes have become diseased. So there's no way for him to do any manual labor. I hope to run this inn well enough to provide for my grandpa. He, you're our first guest. The girl couldn't conceal her excitement. Pulling Long Chen into her inn made her extremely happy. Shall we let our guest eat? An elderly voice rang out from below. Come, come, let's go eat. Long Chen followed the girl to the first floor. He saw an elder standing beside a table, twisting his head to hear. He was blind. Here we have some simple food and tea for our guest. Please don't be courteous. The elder bowed to Long Chen. Sir is too formal. I'm no noble person, and simple. Coarse food is what I'm used to, said Long Chen politely. Sitting down. He saw that there were only some vegetable dishes. There was no meat. The soup was a simple cabbage and tofu soup that didn't smell too bad. Long Chen saw that when the girl portioned her soup, she took mostly the cabbage, but the serving she gave him had quite a bit of tofu. He couldn't help sighing inside. No matter how flourishing the city was, there were always people struggling to survive on the lowest level, struggling just to have food to eat. So you aren't someone from Pilyang Prefecture? Why did you come here? While eating. They chatted with Long Chen, finding him to be friendly and easygoing. He, I just came here so I could fill up my stomach. Tomorrow, I'll go find some work to make some money. Long Chen smiled. Big brother, is that one silver a day too expensive for you? You can stay here until you have the money to repay us, said the girl. She was now much closer to Long Chen. Ha ha ha, that's just some pocket change. Don't worry, my current employer is extremely rich. When the time comes. I'll make an investment and build you a huge inn, and Xiao Kui can be the boss, said Long Chen. This grandfather and granddaughter might have it extremely hard in this place, but they were still very kind-hearted. Long Chen hadn't encountered such simple and honest people in a long time. Xiao Kui, starting tomorrow, go buy some more meat. This big brother of yours is rather gluttonous. Long Chen threw a sack of money to Xiao Kui. Inside were over a hundred gold coins. It had been a long time since Long Chen had ever spent such things. Heavens, this much. Xiao Kui jumped. She had never seen this much money. Even just buying this little courtyard had only cost a few dozen gold coins. Long Chen laughed. This child was too thin, and she was still in the midst of growing. She needed some more nourishment. Long Chen returned to his room and slept for a night. The next day, he directly set off for the Treasure Tower region. It was time to get down to business. Chapter 652 Registration Translator Born to be refreshed from a night's sleep, Long Chen went directly to the Treasure Tower region. That was the core region of Pilyang Prefecture. Scram. If you don't want to die, then get out of the way. Suddenly, rumbling came from behind him. A huge carriage was speeding in his direction and was about to crash into him. It was a six-horned bull, an early Xi'anshan magical beast. It was 300 meters long and it was pulling an extremely imposing carriage without any restraint. This was an official path set by the Pill Tower, and ordinary people wouldn't even dare step onto it. Long Chen had originally been at the side, and he wasn't at all in the way of someone rushing down the street. But the bull was still rushing straight toward him, so its master was obviously thinking of intentionally killing Long Chen. Fuck, as expected, no matter where I go, I run into idiots. Boom. Long Chen extended a single hand and caught one of the bull's horns. It immediately came to a sudden stop. However, while the bull had stopped, eight figures shot out of the carriage from the inertia. They let out startled cries as they shot through the carriage and tumbled across the ground. Where did this blind idiot come from? Do you want to die? A white-robed man crawled up from the ground and roared at Long Chen. He had only just finished shouting when the sky darkened. A huge bull along with the carriage came smashing down on him which caused him to turn green in fright. Those people immediately scattered. The six-horn bull fainted from the collision, and the grand carriage was blown to pieces. A powerful key wave sent all those people flying. Bastard, you are courting death. If you have any guts p.o.w. 
A large hand viciously slapped across that person's face, directly breaking his jaw and making him vomit blood. Try to keep your mouth cleaner. Long Chen icily stared at them, not able to understand why these idiots would want to kill him. He hadn't released any of his aura, and he seemed just like an ordinary person. Was this a case of indiscriminately attacking anyone they saw? If it was that they found him displeasing to look at, Long Chen could accept that. But it was his back that had been facing them. Could it be that his back was also displeasing to look at? Who are you? How dare you block Pill Tower's disciples from registering? Don't you know that only disciples registering with the Pill Tower can walk on this path? Raged one of them. They were all Xi'anchen experts, but their auras were exceedingly weak. Now that one of them said this, Long Chen understood. These people were alchemists, and alchemists had weak physical bodies just like soul cultivators. When they went out, they either used a carriage or a flying magical beast. It was no wonder just a single collision made them appear so miserable. This path is a route only disciples registering with the pill tower can use. So that's why when you saw me walking on the side of the road, you wanted to kill me? Because of the rule that only registering disciples can use this path. Even if you kill someone breaking the rule, it'll be fine? So directing your magical beast to crash into me was for amusement, sneered Long Chen. So what? This is Pil Yang Prefecture, and all the rules are set up by the Pil Tower. You broke the rules. So even if we kill you, you deserve it. Pow. That person's vision darkened as a hand slapped across his face. Long Chen disliked this kind of person, who failed to be pretentious but then continued acting. The most. That person was sent flying by Long Chen's slap, vomiting blood. He crashed into several people and then fainted. These people were both startled and furious. They hadn't expected that anyone would dare so publicly go against the pill tower in their territory. Idiot. If you can walk this path, then I can too. If you want to push me again, I'll slap all your teeth to the ground. Just like that. Long Chen strutted away Novaloon.com CM those people were still dizzy from being struck. Suddenly one of them asked. He's also someone who came to register. So what? Damn it. Whether or not he's registering, we'll definitely get him back for bullying us. Look at that coarse brood. He might be physically strong, but he's definitely trash at alchemy. When the time comes, we'll play him to death, said the first one who had spoken with Long Chen. Brother Ba, your mount has passed out, and it seems that its injuries are heavy. What do you want to do with it? Asked one of them. What can we do? That useless beast. Kill it, and tonight, I'll treat you to beef these people staggered up. Another one of them opened their spiritual space and released a black rock devil leopard. Although they weren't beast tamers, their spiritual strength was exceedingly powerful, and controlling a steed was no problem. They jumped onto the leopard's back and continued on their way. But sitting on a leopard's back was definitely not as comfortable as sitting in a carriage, especially with eight of them. Furthermore, it was a bit embarrassing. However, their ability to be pretentious had already been destroyed by Long Chen, and they could only travel like this. When they once more encountered Long Chen along the path, they deliberately detoured around him. Only once Long Chen was far in the distance did one of them arrogantly shout, Brat, just wait. Once we get to the pill tower, I'll properly humiliate you. Long Chen's expression sank and he raised his foot as if he was about to give chase. Those people shrieked in terror and whipped the leopard, fleeing for their lives. Damn it, is it that they're unlucky, or that I'm unlucky? How do I keep running into idiots like these? Long Chen was speechless. At the same time, he was filled with confidence in this operation of his. The pill tower was definitely a livelier place than anywhere else. That was because Long Chen saw that these alchemists were all idiots who considered themselves greater than anyone else and liked to look down on others. On the way, he encountered dozens of carriages carried by magical beasts that shot by like lightning. There were several times when they got close to Long Chen, wanting to frighten him, as if seeing Long Chen's face contorted in fear was an exceptionally amazing thing. But Long Chen ignored them. Other than that first wave, the rest weren't so senseless as to really go kill an unarmed and defenseless weakling. Their luck was not bad. If they had tried to kill Long Chen, their ending would be no better than the previous people. The thing that surprised Long Chen was that these people were all Xi'anchen experts, and the flame energy fluctuations coming from them were extremely strong. They had to be powerful alchemists. From that appearance, it seemed they were all pill emperors. Originally, Long Chen had been planning on concealing his alchemy arts to the Pill King level, but now it seemed he didn't need to. After over two hours of travel, a huge city gate appeared in front of him. Those people in carriages all descended far away from here and walked over, 
They took out their identity badges at the inner city gates. Many guards were carefully going through people's badges before letting them through. When it was Long Chen's turn, he gave them the tablet that Grandmaster Yun Qi had entrusted to him. When the guard saw Long Chen's badge, his pupil shrank slightly. He examined Long Chen, but he didn't say anything, and he let him through. That discovery startled Long Chen. Was his badge different from other people's? But before he could figure it out, he was swept up by the crowd. Long Chen hadn't expected for there to be this many people. There were actually hundreds of people already. He saw a great deal of excitement on their faces, as if this registration was something they had been looking forward to for a long time. He suddenly felt that something was wrong. It seemed this tablet wasn't like he thought it was. There were no pill kings present. They were all pill emperors. Following the crowd, he eventually reached a large group of over a thousand people. There were young and old, large and small. There was a black stone 30 meters tall ahead. Ancient runes had been carved into the stone, and Long Chen didn't know what it did. In front of the black stone was an elder with a brush who was conducting some sort of registration. Name, Zhu Daeong. Origin, E Prefecture's Alchemy Guild. Take the test. After recording this information, he emotionlessly pointed to the stone. There was a small set of stairs for people to walk up to it. When that person reached the stone, its countless runes lit up, bathing that person in light. Ancient characters appeared on it. The elder nodded. 87 years old meets the standard. Next is the strength of your soul. Press your hand on the red button and send in your spiritual strength. The registrant listened and placed his hand on the red button. A small portal appeared in front of him. That wasn't a true portal, but just something for him to send his spiritual strength in. Buzz. A line of words appeared on the stone. First tier zoo in class. Disqualified. The elder drew a large X over. That person could only sadly leave. Following that person's failure, quite a few people's hearts clenched. Another person went up to take the test. Ten people took the test in a row. There were five fails and five passes. Long Chen saw that the requirements were that you had to be under 100 years old and have reached the earth class in spiritual strength. Furthermore, if you passed, you would be given a ranking based on your age and soul energy. So far, the only rankings he had seen were acceptable and excellent. As time passed, some failed and left. Suddenly, Long Chen saw a familiar figure. Wasn't that the fellow he had viciously slapped? This person also saw Long Chen lined up behind him. His group had long since started pointing at him with disdainful and provocative expressions. After being taught a lesson by Long Chen, they were planning on getting revenge here. In his group, several people failed in a row. This test was not the same as their ordinary tests. They had passed the ordinary tests. But now that they came here, they were still washed out. Name. Asked the elder again. It had finally come to the turn of the person Long Chen had slapped. He confidently replied. Gao Jiba. 1. The elder's expression immediately sank. And he slapped that person across the face. Fuck your mother. How dare you waste my time. Chapter 653 First Tier Heaven Class Translator. Born to be that person let out a miserable cry as he was slapped into the stone wall behind him. He fainted. Causing a burst of startled cries. Gao Jiba? He was definitely looking for a beating. Otherwise, why would he state such a name? Long Chen was speechless. Senior, Brother Jiba wasn't trying to waste your time. His name really is Gao Jiba. His father is the illustrious Gauriti, explained someone hastily. Hearing that, everyone's expressions became exceedingly odd. Gauriti, one, Gao Jiba? Were you certain he wasn't just wasting everyone's time with nonsense? The Jiluo Prefecture's Gao family asked the elder with sudden comprehension. Yes. Cough. Ah. Sorry. It was a misunderstanding. As expected, the Gao family's people really are amazing, said the elder awkwardly. At this time, others had long since helped Gao Jiba up and given him a healing pill. He gradually recovered. Senior. This junior truly is called Gao Jiba. The Ji refers to Jiluo Prefecture's Blue Sea, while the Ba refers to pushing oneself to seek the heaven's will, said Gao Jiba extremely sullenly. It was my fault. Let's continue. Name. Gao Jiba. Origin. Jiluo Prefecture's Alchemist Guild. All right. Take the test. Age. 31. Excellent. Spiritual strength. Seventh tier earth class. Excellent. The Gao family's people really are not bad. The elder nodded with praise and wrote down a new rank. Outstanding. Acceptable. Excellent. Outstanding. Now there was a third rank. This Gao Jiba was truly not bad. Gao Jiba laughed heartily. But that ended up causing him pain as it pulled on his injury. 
and tears squeezed out of his eyes as if his extreme joy had turned to sorrow. The failures all left sadly. The remaining people all had pleased smiles, which contained some ridicule toward those people who were still nervously waiting. Out of Galjiba's group of eight, four had failed and four had succeeded. The four failures could only leave, but the other four didn't reveal any mourning. After some fake words of comfort, they said nothing more. Name. Duan Shiang Kido. Long Chen turned to see a female alchemist with surprise. She wasn't tall, but she had a delicate figure. She was extremely unremarkable in the crowd. Now that she was pointed out, she drew everyone's attention. Due to the fact that women were on the yin side but Pill Flame was on the yang side, female alchemists were rare. Even the elder was surprised. He examined her and continued. Origin. Lihua Prefecture's Alchemist Guild. Take the test. Yes. She smiled and confidently walked up to the stairs. Light enveloped her. Age. 26. When this number appeared, everyone was startled. To have reached the Xianchen realm at just 26 was truly terrifying. Gao Jiba's pleased smile stiffened upon seeing this. He had been 31 when he advanced to Xianchen, and that was already extremely impressive amongst alchemists. But this woman was much younger than he was. Spiritual strength. Ninth tier earth class. Good. Very good. With your soul energy, it won't be long before you can refine sixth tier medicinal pills. The elder was extremely moved. This was his first time saying so many words. Many thanks for your praise, senior. I simply want to devote myself to cultivating in the pill tower. Duan Shiang Kido bowed toward the elder modestly. Although she acted modest, her eyes betrayed her excitement, proving that her inner heart wasn't as calm as she appeared. Haha, <laughs> good. Young people should not be arrogant to truly make something out of themselves, praised the elder. That made Gao Jiba displeased, as he had clearly been a bit arrogant just now. However, he was comforted to see that Duan Shiang Kido's rank was the same as his. Outstanding. In other words, they were still at the same level. The people after Duan Shiang Kido seemed to be influenced by her. Of 30 plus people, only 7 passed. Finally, Long Chen was the last one left. Name, Long San, replied Long Chen. The elder frowned, looking at Long Chen. This name didn't sound like anything outstanding. Origin, King Prefecture's Wild Horse Fat Sheep Pig Butchering Mountain Forest Village, answered Long Chen. This location was real. Back when he had encountered the Muxu mercenary unit, they had passed by this village. Long Chen still remembered it because this name was too memorable. You, are you trying to waste my time? The elder almost raised his hand and slapped him, but having made his earlier mistake, he held himself back. Hearing this, everyone was dumbfounded. The people who arrived here all had to go show their various alchemy guilds tokens to enter. How had Long San managed to get in? As for Gao Jiba, as soon as he heard this nonsense location, he thought that this Long San was doomed, but the slap he anticipated never came, almost making him explode in fury. Why had he been slapped for speaking his real name, while this brat didn't get slapped when he clearly was just asking for it? Definitely not. I'm telling the truth, promised Long Chen solemnly. How did you get in? I gave the guard my badge, and he let me in. Long Chen showed his badge to the elder. When the elder saw the badge, his pupils shrank. Pill Valley's badge? Where did you get this? My master gave it to me. On the eve of his death, he told me I could use this badge to join Pill Valley, and then I definitely have food to eat, said Long Chen. Food to eat? Everyone was flabbergasted. A grand alchemist actually couldn't even feed himself? Was that an insult to the Pill Tower? Who is your master? He was called Yun Qi. I was raised by him, and he taught me alchemy deep in the mountains. I never left the mountains. But one day, he was heavily injured, and he gave me this badge before he died, wanting me to find a place to make a living. He said with my talent, I definitely have food to eat and wine to drink here. I could buy a carriage, a house, and even get multiples wives and concubines, said Long Chen. The elder almost laughed. The pill tower had been taken as a place to make a living, but this was an authentic pill valley badge, and they were very rare. In truth. The Pill Valley had long since stopped issuing such badges. In fact, most of them had already been taken back. When running into this badge, the Pill Tower had to give the owner a fair chance. Those were the rules of Pill Valley. Do you know what we're doing here? Asked the elder. No. Long Chen shook his head. This is the Centennial Pill Emperor competition. It is to determine the true emperor amongst Pill Emperors. Are you sure you want to participate? Asked the elder. The true emperor amongst Pill Emperors? Will there be a good reward? Long Chen's eyes shone. 
he hadn't expected to run into something that good. The elder didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Feeling like this foolish mountain brat didn't understand anything. Let's not talk about the reward for now. Let's see if you have the qualifications to even enter. We're going to test your age and spiritual strength. The elder directly left a blank space for Long Chen's origin and moved on to the next section. Long Chen walked up the steps. Gao Jiba immediately sneered, waiting to see Long Chen's embarrassment. Age. 18. Everyone was stupefied, looking at Long Chen like he was a freak. This dumb mountain brat was only 18 years old? Had there been a mistake? Even the elder felt like something was wrong and redid the test, only to receive the same result. 18-year-old brat and he reached the Xianchen realm. Isn't this just nonsense? How could an alchemist cultivate so quickly? He didn't train his soul energy? Is he even an alchemist? Clamor erupted. Alchemists couldn't cultivate quickly, because their cultivation base was secondary. Their spiritual strength and pill flame were more important. If they cultivated too fast, their alchemy skills wouldn't be able to keep up. They would be crippling their future. So alchemists would all spend a great deal of time training their pill flame and spiritual strength. Duan Xiang Kiyo's age had already been the limit. Long Chen couldn't possibly be a real alchemist. No one would believe such an absurdity. Shut up. If you make such an uproar again, I'll immediately expel you, shouted the elder. This elder was a sea expansion expert and a powerful alchemist. His spiritual strength was extremely powerful, and he sensed that Long Chen was different. Now let's test your spiritual strength, said the elder. A small portal appeared in front of Long Chen. He felt a powerful pressure that was trying to suppress his spiritual strength. It was no wonder those people had been so confident but still failed. The problem lay here. It seemed this test was completely different from what they had taken before. Long Chen hesitated for a moment, but in the end, he slowly sent in his spiritual strength. When Long Chen's spiritual strength touched the portal, the entire stone bloomed with light. This is heaven class. First tier heaven class spiritual strength cried the elder with wild delight. Heaven class? Everyone turned wooden. Gao Jiba looked especially amazing. His jaw could not drop any lower, and his eyes were almost circular. 18-year-old Xianchen expert? Spiritual strength that had reached the first tier heaven class? Was this just a story? The elder directly wrote down a fourth rank for Long Chen's talent. Genius. Acceptable. Excellent. Outstanding. And genius. Long Chen's rank was the highest until now. Long Chen smiled slightly. This was just the slightest bit of his soul energy. If he had used his full strength, that stone would have instantly exploded. That would probably frighten a few of these people to death. But doing so would be too much and not be favorable for his plans. After the registration, Long Chen asked around and found that there was a total of three days for registration. There were still many more people to come, and Long Chen was too lazy to watch them. Saying goodbye to the elder, he left. Once he returned to the small alley, he suddenly noticed there were many more burly fellows than before. At the same time, he heard a wail from the small courtyard he was staying at. He quickened his footsteps. If you're sensible, you'll immediately scram. Suddenly, two large men blocked his path. Chapter 654 Junior Master Fang Translator Born to be Long Chen raised his hand and directly slapped the two of them in the face. These two were only at blood condensation, and they were directly sent flying, crashing into the dozen people behind them. Long Chen had no time to deal with their shock, and he rushed into the courtyard. The courtyard was still there, but Xiao Kui and her grandfather were pushed into a corner. The old man's face was bruised and bleeding. Xiao Kui was terrified but still trying to protect him, even begging for mercy. Please, stop hitting my grandpa, cried Xiao Kui. Within their group, there was a man with a scar on his face who angrily cursed. Idiot peasant, we've already said that Junior Master Hua wants this land. We told you to scram but you refused to leave. Now, if you still don't leave, we'll directly kill you. Sirs, please have pity on us. I spent my life savings in order to buy this place so I could rely on it to survive. Kicking us out is equivalent to taking our lives, cried the elder. Idiots. Junior Master Huo has long since placed his sights on this place. Can't you see that everyone else has already left? Why would you still buy this place? Shut up and scram. In a few days, we will be constructing a grand residence here and you're obstructing our work, shouted the scarred man impatiently. But, but we spent money on this place. We even have the deed. How can you kick us out? Cried Xiao Kui. Oh, you have the deed? Then that's easy. Show me and we'll compensate you with the original price, said the scarred man. 
Xiao Kui was delighted and hastily ran into the room. In just a moment, she came out with a tattered page. This is the deed. See, we weren't lying. The scarred man took the deed and nodded. Correct. This really is the deed. Then he smiled and tore the deed to pieces right in front of Xiao Kui, throwing the scraps into the wind. Xiao Kui immediately became dumbfounded. Now where's the deed? Scram! Shouted the scarred man. You, you, you bully. Xiao Kui had never imagined these people could be so vile. They even destroyed their deed. She began to wail. The scarred man frowned. He impatiently waved his hand to the people behind him. Take them away, Brother Dao. If they keep screaming like this, it won't be good, said one of them. Are you an idiot? Knock them unconscious. Could it be that you don't even know how to do something like that? Find somewhere to bury the old man. As for the brat, he, she's still a female. Do whatever you want to. And hurry up, because we still have work to do. If we're too slow, none of us will have a good ending, ordered the scarred man. Several people's eyes lit up. They were just about to move when an icy voice rang out. I'm really curious how you can be so repulsive without the heavens doing anything to put you in your place. The scarred man jumped. He hadn't even noticed that another person had appeared in the courtyard. It had to be known that he was a bone-forging expert. Seeing the black-robed, suntanned man with an evil smile on the face, he shouted, Who are you? You dare meddle in our affairs, big brother. They're completely unreasonable. Xiao Kui seemed to have seen her final hope, and she cried out, Xiao Kui, don't cry. This is just a dream. Sleep, and when you awake, everything will be over. Following his words, Xiao Kui and her grandfather's eyelids became heavy, and they fell asleep. Turning back to the scarred man, Long Chen didn't say anything. He just indifferently looked at them. What? What are you planning? For some unknown reason, the scarred man felt a chill. I'm planning how many pieces I can cut you into, and just which way I should do it for it to be perfect, said Long Chen, sizing up the scarred man. You, you really are looking to die. Don't think that you can resist us just because you have some insignificant abilities. We're doing the work of the Pill Towers Huo family warned the scarred man. Mentioning the Huo family, his confidence rose. At this time, the others outside had also charged into the courtyard. Over 40 people surrounded Long Chen. Friend, you should leave. Although you've concealed your cultivation base, you're still only an ant in front of the Huo family, said the scarred man. The Huo family? We really are tied together by destiny. Could it be that the heavens fated me to fight with the Huo family? I didn't even go find them yet, but they came to find me. This matter was a bit thorny. Right now, his best option was to bring away Xiao Kui and her grandfather. These people wouldn't dare to make it hard on him, but that was something against his principles. If he didn't kill these dregs, he'd feel like it would be unworthy of their appearance. And yet, if he immediately fought with the Huo family as soon as he arrived, it would be too conspicuous. Although these people were just dogs, a dog's death would still draw the attention of its master. Suddenly, a huge figure flew over in the sky. It was a Xi'anshan falcon magical beast that whistled past them. Long Chen ignored it. Looking at these fellows, in the end, he decided to exterminate them. Caring so much about consequences wasn't his style. Just as Long Chen was about to attack, the falcon returned and a dozen people jumped off its back. There were both men and women. They were in luxurious clothes and were young Xi'anshan experts. The person at the lead had thick eyebrows and large eyes. He wore a golden crown on his head. Oh. Why would the Huo family's dogs come to bite people here? That person disdainfully looked at the scarred man. Junior Master Fang. The scarred man immediately turned pale and began to sweat. Pow. A large hand slapped across the scarred man's face. And that Junior Master Fang angrily shouted. Fuck off. My name sounds so vile coming from your mouth. Long Chen's eyes brightened. This Junior Master Fang was actually also an expert face slapper. This slap in the face had been too beautiful. It was clean and efficient. It seemed he was also a generation's genius, and Long Chen couldn't help but have a good feeling toward him. The scarred man didn't dare get angry. This slap in the face hadn't contained much power, but the humiliation of it was much greater. Suddenly, the sound of Long Chen's clapping rang out. Junior Master Fang's expression sank, and he icily stared at Long Chen. What are you doing? Sir's face slap was simply too perfect. Your slap was smooth, while the arc was graceful. That handsome posture is truly admirable. Long Chen smiled. Oh, not bad, not bad. You were actually able to see that. Could it be that you're also proficient in this Dao? Junior Master Fang's eyes brightened. I don't dare say that I'm proficient. I just know a bit, said Long Chen modestly. 
Long Chen was extremely enthusiastic to discuss this shared interest. How about you try it? In all my years, this is my first time seeing a slap cultivator. Junior Master Fang looked at Long Chen excitedly. Slap cultivator? Was he referring to cultivating face slaps? This Junior Master Fang was truly a genius. Then I'll give a display. Long Chen smiled. When it came to face slapping arts, it seemed his ability in that regard surpassed even his alchemy and combat skills. It was the divine ability he was most proficient in. You, seeing that Long Chen was walking over to him eagerly, the scarred man was both startled and infuriated. When Long Chen's slap came, he immediately raised his hand to block. Pow, 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 pow. But what startled the scarred man was that although he had clearly blocked, he was still struck. In fact, he was repeatedly struck four times. Junior Master Fang's eyes almost popped out. This was practically a divine ability. He clearly saw that when the scarred man tried to block, Long Chen's hand would move in a strange arc and avoid his block. It was soft like cotton, but quick as the wind. That strange curve in his technique was practically one that could shake heaven and earth, and cause gods to sob. Most importantly, his slaps came in a steady rhythm that was invigorating, giving people an urge to dance. A divine ability. This is definitely a divine ability. Brother, you must teach me this, cried Junior Master Fang. He had never seen such a face-slapping art. It wasn't just him. The others behind him were also shocked. This face-slapping art was too graceful. Haha, <laughs> no problem. Since we all have this grand interest, well, I wouldn't dare say I could teach you, but we can compare notes and share our experience, laughed Long Chen. Brother, you really are my brother. What should I call you? Seeing that Long Chen didn't keep his technique secret, he couldn't help feeling extremely favorable toward him. Long San, haha, <laughs> brother Long San, I'm bigger than you, so you can call me Big Brother Fang. In Pilyang Prefecture, as long as you mention my name, I guarantee no one will dare to bully you, said Junior Master Fang confidently. Long Chen was startled. This confidence and the fact that he dared to beat the Huo family's dogs. Could it be that he was from the Pill Towers Fang family? Thinking of that, Long Chen couldn't help slapping his leg in excitement. This was practically perfect. He had just been thinking of how he was supposed to muddle his way into the Pill Tower. This blessing had come too suddenly. Long Chen had already asked around. Pil Yang Prefecture had three families that controlled it. They were the Huo family, the Fang family, and the Che family. One, they were the ones that controlled the Pill Tower. All right, Big Brother Fang, seeing how courteous you are, let me put on a show for you. First of all, a face slapping art seeks to strike like the wind, to be as fast as lightning, to be as hard as a mountain, to be soft like cotton, to come in waves like the waves of the sea, to be completely unblockable. This Dao is truly limitless, and each advancement you make is merely a grain of sand in a desert. As Long Chen spoke, Junior Master Fang seemed drunk. He hadn't imagined that face slapping arts were backed by such profound principles. Brother Fang, look closely. I'll give you a demonstration of what it means to be swift. After saying that, Long Chen smiled sinisterly at the scarred man. Chapter 655 Imparting the Divine Ability Translator Born to be Pow, Pow. This is how you start. One heart. Two strikes. Control your power naturally and effortlessly. Heavy and light. Pow, 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 Pow. Do you see? This is the rhythm. Four beats at a time can be transformed, becoming eight beats. 16 beats, to make it a perfect set. As Long Chen explained, his hand didn't stop. No matter how the scarred man tried to dodge, the tempo never changed. That scene dazzled everyone with its perfection. Most importantly, each of Long Chen's slaps caused such a loud ringing sound that was incredibly clear. And yet, they didn't cause any injury. The scarred man's skin hadn't even split open. It could be seen that his control had truly reached the pinnacle. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let me try it. Junior Master Fang was delighted. He had truly met a master today. Long Chen paused and he immediately went forward, slapping the scarred man across the face. But he only managed to slap him once when the scarred man unconsciously dodged the second. Fuck. You dare dodge. If you try that again, I'll slap you to death. Rage Junior Master Fang. Encountering such a master was so rare, but this infuriating fellow refused to cooperate. Pow. Pow. Brother Long. Is it like this? Junior Master Fang slapped the scarred man twice across the face and then asked Long Chen for his opinion. The scarred man was fuming. How had he been so unlucky as to run into such a calamity? But now he didn't even dare to dodge, or he really could be killed if he provoked him. 
The first attack uses the shoulder to move the arm, but in truth, it is the shoulder putting forth the power. Your second attack should use your wrist to move your hand. Use a slight rotation, and your speed will increase a great deal. Keep your posture elegant and your movements clean. That will cause anyone watching to feel refreshed and relaxed. That is what a truly high class and imposing face slapping art should be like, said Long Chen. Pow, pow, ha ha ha. Yes, this is the feeling. Too refreshing. Junior Master Fang truly was a genius. After just a bit of guidance, he immediately grasped the concept. Those people following Junior Master Fang truly did feel refreshed and relaxed now. Long Chen stealthily probed those people. Their spiritual strengths were extremely powerful, and a blazing flame aura came from their spiritual yuan. Those were fluctuations of pill flame. In other words, these had to be powerful alchemists. It seemed this Junior Master Fang's status was exceedingly high, but he didn't put on any airs with him, so he wasn't that bad of a person. Long Chen was unaware that this Junior Master Fang was one of the masters of Pil Yang Prefecture, and the only reason he didn't put on any airs with him was because he admired Long Chen's divine ability. Seeing that the others were also eager for a try, Long Chen encouraged, everyone, don't be shy. If you want to try it, then go ahead. There are enough test subjects here for everyone, so don't be courteous. That's right, that's right. Come try it. It really is addictive. Junior Master Fang also encouraged his people. Only then did they walk over. You, get over here and be slapped. A-H-H. As soon as these people tried the slapping art, miserable screams rang out. These people were alchemists with grand statuses. They had never done anything like this before, and as a result, their control over their physical strength was extremely lacking. These people's facial bones immediately shattered from one slap. One person even accidentally killed someone with his slap causing the others to turn red with fury. But Junior Master Fang simply laughed. He, this kind of divine ability isn't something that just anyone can learn. As for us, we should just give up. One of them shook his head and stopped trying. No, no, just treat it as accompanying me. Otherwise, it'll be boring by myself, said Junior Master Fang as he continued to focus on his practice. An hour later, all those people's faces were like pigs. Their heads were incredibly swollen. The people that had come with Junior Master Fang were all ashamed. Despite how careful they tried to be, they were unable to perfectly control their strength. They were alchemists. Having them control their pill flames was easy, but to control their physical strength was not their strong suit. However, everyone had no choice but to admit that Junior Master Fang truly had exceedingly high talent when it came to face slapping. Even after an hour of practice, the scarred man's face had only turned slightly red and swollen. He wasn't truly injured. Even Long Chen had to nod. Junior Master Fang, don't you think bothering a bunch of nobodies like them is a loss to your status? Suddenly, a voice rang out from the sky. Long Chen raised his head to see a violet-robed elder with an exquisite tower symbol embroidered onto his chest. A pair of wings kept him afloat. What does that have to do with your Huo family? Do you have the qualifications to speak to me? Junior Master Fang stopped his training. After an hour of bitter practice, he was a bit tired. He obviously recognized the sea expansion expert, but from his tone, it seemed he didn't like the Huo family. That made Long Chen smile. You're the Fang family's junior master, the future family head. Of course I don't have the qualifications to criticize you, but your actions are a loss to your status, said the sea expansion expert as he slowly floated down to the ground. His words weren't overly rude, but his tone did have some ridicule. TCH, you're bored. So you want to be a pain in my ass? If I want to teach a lesson to a few dogs that bullied people. So what? You have an opinion. Sneered Junior Master Fang. This is Junior Master HUO's new residence. He's in the process of building it. And all they did was clean out the stragglers who had no business being here. Junior Master Fang. Your actions are a bit overboard. Said the elder. A threat had already crept into his words. Seeing that, Long Chen laughed inside. It seemed the Huo and Fang families were quite hostile to each other. In fact, they were openly antagonistic without any fear. That was definitely good. He suddenly interjected. If your junior master Huo wants to make a grave for himself where other people are living, he should compensate the house owners, don't you think? Can he really just take other people's property without giving a single copper coin? When your dogs came to randomly bite others, bullying the innocents and defenseless commoners in broad daylight, they lost the face of the pill tower. Do you even understand that? Your dogs humiliated and insulted the name of the sacred pill tower. 
Junior Master Fang is an upright man, and seeing the crimes these people committed, he stood up for justice and gave them their due punishment. That is what a real hero should do. He beat these dogs to protect the Pill Tower's radiance. Tell me, just where did he go overboard? Long Chen's righteous words made Junior Master Fang laugh inside. He had only attacked because he found the Huo family's people to be displeasing to the eye. But now that Long Chen put it this way, he had become a hero of the Pill Tower, protecting it from shame. He puffed his chest with self-confidence. What nonsense. Who do you think you are to interrupt when I'm talking? Raged the sea expansion expert. He didn't dare release any fury on Junior Master Fang, but not just anyone could speak to him. He nor released his fury on Long Chen. Junior Master Fang was just about to speak up for Long Chen when he saw Long Chen's shoulder move ever so slightly. P.O.W. Long Chen's hand slapped across the elder's face. This time, his strength was shockingly high, and the elder was sent flying. Boom. Xiao Kui's little house was blown apart, wooden fragments filling the air. Everyone was shocked. What? Beautiful. While everyone else was stupefied, Junior Master Fang cheered. This slap had practically reached a supernatural level. Bastard. Die. The sea expansion expert roared and charged at Long Chen furiously, his palm crashing down. Space trembled intensely. This was a terrifying attack that made it so no one else could breathe. Just as Long Chen was still undecided over whether or not he should continue slapping him, Junior Master Fang stood in front of him, blocking the elder. Old ghost, if you have the guts, you can try it. The elder's fury had soared after being slapped in the face by Long Chen. Being slapped by a junior almost drove him crazy with fury, so he hadn't held back at all with this attack. He wanted Long Chen dead immediately, but seeing Junior Master Fang appearing in front of him, his expression completely changed, and he hastily pulled back his strength. If anything happened to Junior Master Fang, not even a hundred deaths would make up for it. The Fang family would be furious. He was both startled and infuriated, and as a result of this sudden retraction of his own strength, his aura fluctuated tumultuously and he vomited a mouthful of blood. You really want to shield him, raged the elder. Doesn't that go without saying? Why wouldn't I protect my brother? Junior Master Fang had, of course, expected this result. Good, good, good. After spitting out three goods, the elder's wings shook and he disappeared from their gazes. What are you still doing here? Scram. Looking at your ugly faces makes me nauseous. Or do you want to start anew? said Junior Master Fang at the Huo family's people. They hadn't been allowed to leave before, and staying had been misery. So hearing this, they were delighted and they hastily fled. Long San, your face slapping divine ability is truly unrevealed. You have to properly teach me. Don't worry, I won't treat you unfairly. Let's go find a place to eat. Junior Master Fang was extremely excited. Seeing Long Chen slap the sea expansion expert in the face almost made him prostrate himself in admiration. That move had been too amazing. Long Chen first woke up Xiao Kui and her grandpa. He took out a few hundred gold coins for them. He didn't dare give them too much, or it might cause others to become jealous and kill them. A few hundred gold coins should be enough for them to live for many years. And if they saved it properly, it would be enough for their lifetime. Xiao Kui was incomparably grateful to Long Chen. It was only after Long Chen advised them to go quickly that they left. After handling Xiao Kui's matter, Long Chen. Junior Master Fang, and the others all flew back to the Treasure Tower region. Chapter 656 Junior Master Che Translator Born to be the entire top floor of a grand and soaring building in the Treasure Tower region had been completely reserved by Junior Master Fang. No one else was permitted to enter. Brother Long, you've really opened my eyes today. Previously, I always thought that face slaps were only for people weaker than you. But seeing you slap that elder, I realized the truth. Let me offer you a cup. Junior Master Fang actually stood up and toasted with Long Chen with both hands. Everyone's expressions changed slightly, and they all felt a trace of hostility toward Long Chen. Junior Master Fang cared too much about Long Chen. None of them had said a word to Long Chen the entire time. In their eyes, Long Chen was just a martial artist. He couldn't be compared to grand alchemists. They hadn't openly displayed any contempt for him because they were giving face to Junior Master Fang. But now Junior Master Fang was so respectful to him, which displeased them. Just by relying on some face-slapping art, he had managed to gain so much favor from Junior Master Fang. That luck was absolutely ridiculous. Brother Fang is too courteous. Cheers. Long Chen laughed and touched his cup to Junior Master Fang's. The wine was excellent, 
It had actually been made out of over a hundred rare medicines, and was extremely beneficial to a person's soul. Brother Long, let me introduce you. These people are all alchemists who came to participate in the Pill Emperor competition. They are all elites in the alchemy world, said Junior Master Fang. These people had all been drawn into Junior Master Fang's camp early so that they wouldn't end up on the side of the other two families. Although they were all part of the Pill Tower, the Huo family, Fang family, and Che family all cared most about their people. That would determine how high their position would be in the future. These people had been pulled in by Junior Master Fang in private. As for the registration test, he had directly let them skip it. He had originally brought everyone out to go hunting and amuse themselves. But on the way, they had seen people from the Huo family. They had gone down to amuse themselves. But as a result, they had encountered Long Chen. No, no, I wouldn't dare call myself an elite. Compared to Brother Long's beautiful face slaps, alchemy is just a minor deo, laughed one of them. Long Chen glanced at this person and shook his head inside. As expected, wherever there were people, there was competition. These people had pointed their spears at him so quickly. This person's true meaning was extremely obvious. He was just good at slapping people in the face. While they were grand alchemists, the difference between them was like heaven and earth. Junior Master Fang's high regard for Long Chen had brought on their displeasure, as he had never treated them so grandly before. When someone goes and practically pushes their face in front of you, it would be wrong for you to not slap them. That's how I managed to train my art. If brother is interested, I can give you some private lessons. Long Chen smiled. These words were a bit impolite, but if someone wanted him to slap them, he definitely wouldn't hesitate. He had clearly shown his attitude now. For these people, you couldn't give them face, or they would say and do even more irritating things. Haha, <laughs> alright, let's not fight. It was fate that brought us together. Let's all toast to that. Junior Master Fang sensed the atmosphere was getting tense, and he hastily raised his cup with a laugh. Everyone followed suit. They cared deeply about the Fang family's strength. On the surface, the Pill Tower was one whole entity, but it was actually controlled by the three families. Entering one of these three families was equivalent to having boundless resources and innumerable cultivation opportunities for them. So they had to be extremely courteous to him. If they offended Junior Master Fang, their future prospects would be ruined. Junior Master Fang was extremely happy today. He had managed to entice several talented alchemists to his side, as well as encountered a master midway through a trip. I hear this is Brother Long's first time coming to Pilyang Prefecture. This is a world for alchemists. What plans do you have in coming here? Asked one person. This person's offhand question was extremely sharp and displeasing. Long Chen smiled and was about to reply when footsteps rang out from below. Junior Master Fang's expression sank. He had already reserved this place, but someone still dared come up and disturb them. Junior Master Che, when he saw who had come up, Junior Master Fang leaped up and laughed. The others didn't feel right sitting when Junior Master Fang was standing, so they also stood. Long Chen looked at the newcomers. A total of ten people had come. The person at the front was a medium-sized, square-faced man with an imposing mannerism. This person was the future heir of one of the Pill Tower's three great families, the Che family's number one junior generation's alchemy genius. Haha, <laughs> Junior Master Fang, I heard you have reserved this place. Recently, I've been embarrassingly short of money. You wouldn't mind if a catched a meal of you, right? Laughed Junior Master Che. Junior Master Che, you're joking. Come, let me introduce you. These are my precious guests. Obviously, these two had a very close relationship. They hastily asked the restaurant to bring up a larger table and more food. Junior Master Fang, you really are fast. You actually have three more than me, sighed Junior Master Che. He, it was luck, said Junior Master Fang, but he was clearly pleased. Hmm? Wait, what? You, you are Long San. Junior Master Che suddenly looked at Long Chen with shock. You know Long San, asked Junior Master Fang, surprised. What the fuck? You were way too fast. I only just received the news, but you already pulled him in, said Junior Master Che. What are you talking about? What news? TCH. Keep acting. Long San is the only one to be given a genius rating in the competition's registration so far. At 18 years old, his soul energy has reached the first tier heaven class. Don't bother trying to tell me that you didn't know and just randomly picked him up off the street. Junior Master Fang was stunned. Even the people beside him were stunned. This Long San had such an origin? Brother Long, you're an alchemist. 
asked Junior Master Fang. Yes, what the fuck? Why didn't you tell me sooner? Now I look like an idiot, cursed Junior Master Fang. Well, the main thing is that you never asked. Long Chen shrugged. Junior Master Che saw that it didn't seem like they were acting. After asking a few questions, he turned speechless. This dog sheet luck of yours is way too strong. I really have to concede. I already sent people to go look for Long San, but you ended up randomly picking him up first. According to the rules, the registrants that passed would go through a meeting where some old alchemists would give them some tips. But that was useless to Long Chen. He had his pill god memories. Why would he need other people's alchemy tips? So he had just directly left. It was only later that people realized he had disappeared. So the three families had immediately started a search for Long San, wanting to pull him into their camp. Such a talented alchemist was too rare. As a result, while they searched all over, Junior Master Fang had picked him up while thinking of going hunting. Furthermore, he hadn't even known he was an alchemist. Junior Master Fang, since you didn't know he was an alchemist, it wouldn't count as stealing. Junior Master Che laughed mischievously. Don't even try it. Long San is my brother. Don't even think about taking my brother away. Long Chen could see that although the two of them represented two different families, they were extremely close. They were even able to make such jokes. The food's here. Let's eat. Junior Master Fang waved his hand, and everyone sat down. Long Chen was sitting between the two junior masters. Everyone else's gazes were filled with envy, but they were also helpless. Their soul energy had only reached the 7th to 9th tier earth class. Thus, they could only reach the outstanding rank. There was no way for them to compare to Long Chen. Those people that had been displeased with Long Chen were now even more irritated. Originally, they had thought Long Chen was just a martial artist who only relied on a face-slapping art to get close to Junior Master Fang. They had never expected him to be a genius rank alchemist. The people who had insulted him felt like they were sitting on pins. They also cursed inside. If he was such a strong alchemist, why hadn't he said so earlier? Was it to make himself appear low-key? He had made complete fools out of them. Junior Master Fang hadn't gone to the testing region, as there were naturally people from his family who had kept watch for him. But Junior Master Che had kept a photographic jade recording of what had happened over there. He had even shown the section regarding Long San to his family, which had greatly shaken them. They all felt he had to be drawn to their side. Long San, I have a little sister who is as beautiful as a heavenly fairy. She is outstanding, said Junior Master Che suddenly. Stop, Long San. Don't listen to him. His sister might be pretty, but she's only eight. Don't get duped, said Junior Master Fang. So what if she's only eight? You can cultivate the pill Deo for countless years. Ten years can pass in the blink of an eye. She'll quickly grow up, quibbled Junior Master Che. Long Chen laughed. Junior Master Che, I appreciate your kindness, but Junior Master Fang recognized my worth without even knowing I was an alchemist, accepting me as a brother. I, Long San will never forget that kindness. Toward the end, his voice was a bit low with emotion. Junior Master Fang was incomparably moved, and he was also extremely proud of himself. This simple matter had locked a genius to his Fang family's side. All right, then I'll give up. Well, our Che and Fang families get along very well, so being over there is the same to me. Let's toast as a celebration. Junior Master Che had truly given up now. Long Chen's promise had already displayed his resolve. In truth, this phrase of his had been extremely brilliant. He had directly erased Junior Master Fang's misjivings while also causing him to feel emotional and proud. Once most of the food was eaten, Long Chen asked the two of them for their real names. They were already so close, but he still didn't know their names. That was a bit rude. I'm Fang Chen and he's Che Li Huo, answered Junior Master Fang. Hearing their names, Long Chen's jaw suddenly dropped, and he seemed completely shocked. Chapter 657 No Problems Translator Born to be seeing Long Chen's sudden change in expression, Fang Chang, Che Li Huo, and the others became curious. What was Long Chen doing? Were those two names really so shocking? But all of them guessed that Long Chen was taking this chance to do some bootlicking. Most likely, he would praise their names for being imposing and amazing. Long San, what's wrong? Asked Fang Chang. What good names? No, excellent names. Long Chen's head rapidly worked. He definitely had to give these two names a good title. Cough. When I encountered those people from the Huo family, one of them shouted a slogan. Said Long Chen. What slogan could cause you to be this shocked? And what does this slogan have to do with our names? Asked Fang Chang. 
I remember it was this. Screw Che Li Huo. Dam Fang Chang. Pil Yang Prefecture Soul Master is Huo Wu Fang. Long Chen frowned, trying to remember the exact phrase. One. Hearing this, Che Li Huo and Fang Chen turned green. Everyone was silent. Maybe I misheard? The voice from the Huo family's man wasn't very clear. Maybe I did hear wrong. Back then, I was extremely curious. What idiot would make up such a garbage slogan? It doesn't rhyme, and it doesn't flow off the tongue. But now hearing your names, it kind of seems. Long Chen suddenly shut his mouth. This Huo Wufang is getting more and more arrogant. HMPH. If only Long Chen had killed him back then, shouted Che Li Huo hatefully. Hearing that, Long Chen almost jumped. They knew his name? How? Everyone can continue eating. Che Li Huo, Long San, and I are going next door to drink some tea. The three of them found a private room. An attendant came to pour them tea. I, Fang Chang, don't have many strong points. When I handle things, I just do what I like to do. In the same way, I make friends based on my personal preference. You can also tell that I treat you differently than the others. They are subordinates I coaxed over. Both sides benefit. They care about my Fang family's position and the resources we can offer them. While my Fang family cares about their talent. Pulling them in strengthens our power. It could be said to be just cooperation. But you are different. In my opinion, anyone skilled in face slapping is a straightforward man who doesn't like to conceal his true self. Furthermore, your face slapping divine ability is something I truly admire. Most importantly, the fact that you could teach me its divine essence without even knowing who I was, without seeking fame or profit, makes me think of you as a friend. However, now I find you're actually a genius alchemist. That is extremely unexpected, but I hope this change in your status won't affect our relationship, said Fang Chang. Brother Fang, the kindness you've given me is something I'm well aware of. The reason I've joined you isn't because I care about your Fang family's strength, but because I admire your character, said Long Chen. Good, that's the most trustworthy way. Let's use our tea as wine, and toast. Che Li Huo clapped. Long San's character was truly rare. Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo were both prodigies who had seen countless people. With a single glance, they could see through a person's general character. Long San was a typical model of someone who could be coaxed, but not forced. Once someone like that made a decision, it would be extremely difficult for anyone to change it. At the same time, such people were also the most trustworthy. Long San, since you can say something like that, I won't be courteous with you. You're only 18, but I'm 35 and brother Che is 4746. TCH, what's the difference? Anyways, in the future, you should just call me Big Bro Fang and call him Big Bro Che. We will treat you as a true brother. Let me tell you about our current situation. From Fang Chang's explanation, Long Chen learned that the Pill Tower's state of affairs was much more complicated than he had imagined. The Pill Tower was jointly run by the Huo, Fang, and Che families. Each of them was in charge of their departments. The Fang family was in charge of researching pill formulas, as well as the growth and recruitment of alchemists. The Che family was in charge of managing the equipment required for refining pills, such as medicinal ingredients, furnaces, cauldrons, beast flames, secret arts, etc. As for the Huo family, they were in charge of selling the medicinal pills. Originally, this hadn't been an overly important business, but the Huo family still managed to become the boss of the three families firmly suppressing the Che and Fang families. The three families competed fiercely with each other. Long Chen learned from Fang Chen that the Pill Tower was merely a means for Pill Valley to stay connected with the rest of the world. Pill Valley chose to send a few powerful alchemy families to manage the Pill Tower. If those families did well, they would be allowed to return to Pill Valley to be groomed. Doing well didn't refer to managing business, but to raising more geniuses. Pill Valley's disciple selection was extremely stringent. The Huo family was in charge of selling medicinal pills. By exploiting that position, they created secret ties to countless sects, allowing them to build a wide net. They learned of many talented alchemists at the first moment, and they would immediately draw them over to their side. As a result, the Huo family was gaining favor with Pill Valley, and they had already begun to stretch their hands outside their department, suppressing the Fang and Che families. If this continued, it seemed like the two families would be gradually pushed out of the pill tower. Is the Huo family really so powerful? Even both of your families can't stop them. Long Chen was startled. It seemed that he had underestimated the Huo family. The main thing is that the Huo family is too despicable. 
through selling medicinal pills. They secretly pocketed endless profit. Their financial accounts never add up, but that huge wealth has become their greatest weapon. Furthermore, the Huo family has people in Pill Valley. Last time, even the matter of them selling fake pills was suppressed by them. So you can see how much influence they have. Side Che Li Huo. Last time, the matter of the fake bone forging pills had initially caused huge waves, and the main offender was the Huo family. But the Huo family's abilities were truly incredible. Relying on their connections and by paying some money, they managed to settle the matter. But the matter of the fake pills, as well as the most recent matter of the Meridian opening pills being announced by the Huaian sect, had been grave blows to the pill tower. Their profits were rapidly declining. The Huo family was a bit panicked now. To win the favor of Pill Valley, they had drawn in a large group of alchemy geniuses. They hoped to raise them into amazing alchemists and then send them to Pill Valley. Otherwise, there was danger of them losing their position. This was a crisis to the Huo family, but it was the best opportunity for the Fang and Che families. If they could suppress the Huo family this time, then the Huo family would have no geniuses nor money to appease Pill Valley. In this case, it was very likely that Pill Valley might switch them with someone else, and that someone else would most likely be the Fang or Che family. Long San, we treat you like a brother, but keep these words to yourself, said Che Li Huo. Don't worry, I understand. Although I haven't had any contact with the Huo family, I can tell they aren't anything good from the vile actions of their subordinates, said Long Chen. That's right. From top to bottom, the Huo family is all trash. The heavens really have been blind to allow the Huo family to have so many talented alchemists, said Fang Chang. What, does the Huo family have a lot of talented people, asked Long Chen. It's not that, it's just that they're absolutely shameless. Whenever they run into any talented alchemists, they will secretly bring them into their family and raise them. They'll change that person's surname to Huo, turning them into a member of the Huo family. Once they mature, if they're sent to Pill Valley, they'll naturally say that they're from the Huo family's main bloodline, and so it will make the Huo family seem very innately talented. In truth, they're just shameless to the peak, raged Che Li Huo. He clearly looked down on such actions, but the world was like this. There were many shameless people who relied on their shamelessness to succeed. The Huo family's people really are degenerates. They actually intentionally had their subordinates insult you too. How can that be allowed? Although they might not be spreading their slogan yet, I trust that it won't be long before it circulates everywhere throughout the city. Even the kids on the streets will be singing it. It's too despicable. Plus, that last phrase, doesn't it mean that in the future, there will only be the Huo family? Too arrogant, cried Long Chen through clenched teeth. Although this slogan was something Long Chen had made up, he trusted the two of them wouldn't go investigate it. Furthermore, all Long Chen had said was that he thought he had heard someone mutter it. He hadn't said who. HMPH. It seems the Huo family wants to use this chance to reverse the tides and regain all the losses they have suffered recently. I want to see just what game they're planning this time, sneered Fang Chang. Brother Fang, don't worry. I'll definitely help you handle the Huo family. It's not just for you, but for me. For righteousness, we have to get rid of these despicable people. Within Long Chen's solemn oath, the only sincere part was that it really was for him. Good brother, I won't say any meaningless polite words. This time, let's have a proper fight with the Huo family. Fang Chen patted Long Chen's shoulder. The reason he had explained all this was to make Long Chen feel like he treated him as a trustworthy aide. He had even been planning on displaying more power to give Long Chen enough confidence. But Long Chen only listened to half of his planned speech. All he managed to say was how powerful the Huo family was. But it seemed Long Chen wasn't intimidated. Without hesitation, he stood by his side to fight with the Huo family. Fang Chen was incredibly moved. Even Che Li Huo felt envy for Fang Chang's luck. He had picked up such a treasure through a random stroll. And this treasure was so devoted to him. Don't worry, Long San. My Fang family and the Che family are allied. The Che family is in charge of everything required for alchemy. As long as you have enough talent, we can definitely turn you into a generation's alchemy prodigy. We'll give the Huo family a vicious punch, said Fang Chen confidently. A punch might be strong, but I feel like a slap would be the most satisfying. Long Chen laughed sinisterly. Ha ha ha, yes, yes, a slap in the face would be the best. Then we'll get to see them stamp with fury. Ha ha ha, laughed Fang Chen. Long Chen also laughed with him, filled with delight. Things were progressing even more smoothly than he had anticipated. That's right, 
You said something about Hua Wufang almost dying to Long Chen? What happened there? Long Chen asked. He wanted to know about Hua Wufang's situation. Chapter 658 Once more seeing Hua Wufang translator. Born to be Long Chen asked about Hua Wufang's situation with great concern. Last time, he had given him an exclusive, secret medicine to make him possess neither the will to live, nor the will to die. In the Jiuli secret realm, it was all because of Hua Wufang that he had been targeted by both the righteous and corrupt paths, that had caused Lu Fang er and Ye's Hikyu to perish. In his hatred, Long Chen had given Hua Wufang a specially mixed poison, one that was practically incurable. It had sunk into his broken bones, making it so that they couldn't heal. In the secret realm, Long Chen had broken every bone in his body. Now that he couldn't heal them, he was essentially a slug. He wasn't even able to move. All day, he would be racked with pain. Fuck. Just mentioning it gives me rage. Back then, that idiot insisted on messing around and going on an adventure. As a result, he ended up in the Jiuli secret realm and was beaten into a dead dog by Long Chen. That Long Chen really is a vicious character. It's just regretful that he died. Otherwise, we definitely have to treat him to a drink. Side Fang Chang. Hua Wufang had been in a half-dead state this entire time. Long Chen's poison was too complicated, and without being given the cure, they could not heal him. The Huo family had countless people. They had figured out most of the components of the poison, but none of them dared to try an antidote against this kind of poison. The slightest mistake would cause Hua Wufang to immediately die. It was too dangerous. It had to be known that Hua Wufang was the Huo family's top junior alchemist. Even as a child, they had pampered him, turning him into his unreasonable, haughty self. And so, he had dared to ignore everyone else's objections and secretly entered the Jiuli secret realm for a thrilling adventure. As a result, he had turned into a half-dead man due to Long Chen. Just over half a month ago, that idiot actually appeared in front of us alive and healthy. Back then, we didn't even believe our own eyes. Only afterward did we learn that the Huo family invited a sage doctor skilled in the art of healing to come. They paid an incredible amount for that doctor to extract all that bastard's bones and transplant a new skeleton into him, said Fang Chang. He replaced his entire skeleton. That would cost. That would cost a huge price. Long Chen was just about to say the exact cost when he caught himself. He had to play the role of someone with limited experience. Exactly. To completely replace a person's bones requires the new bones to come from someone with an extremely strong physical body. For such a huge project, just the required medicinal liquids would probably be enough for you to buy half of Pilyang Prefecture. It really is unknown just how much profit the Huo family has swindled over these years. They were even able to afford such a terrifying transplant, said Che Li Huo indignantly. Half a month ago? That was not long after Long Chen had been sent to the Chaos region. In other words, it had happened after Long Chen had refused to give them the antidote. That was why the Huo family had paid the immense price to heal Huo Wufang. So they wanted to transfer the pain of paying this price to me? Not a bad idea. Regretfully, I'll make them pay an even more painful price. Currently, not only has Huo Wufang completely recovered, but his cultivation base has also broken through to the Xianchen realm. It seems his transplanted bones came from a shocking origin, said Fang Chang. Is Huo Wufang strong? Even the two of you have to be worried about him, asked Long Chen upon seeing their frowns. Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo looked at each other and then helplessly said, Huo Wufang might be trash as a person, but his alchemy arts are exceedingly terrifying. His spiritual strength has reached the third tier heaven class, which is two tires higher than you. Even worse, your master was merely a pill master, but Huo Wufang was raised with the Huo family's full strength. The difference between the two of you is immense. But don't be discouraged. With us present, your alchemy arts will rapidly progress, consoled Fang Chang. Long San came from a poor background, but he was exceedingly talented, and alchemists cared most about talent. As long as you weren't over a hundred years old, you could still be properly groomed. Furthermore, Long San was only 18. I won't say too many thanks then. Brothers, your enemies are my enemies. This life of mine will be used to fight against the Huo family. Long Chen patted his chest. Ha ha ha, good brother, let's go drink more, laughed Fang Chang. He pulled Long Chen out of the room, and they continued drinking with everyone. Seeing how courageous Long San was and how he didn't have the slightest terror toward the Huo family, Fang Chen was delighted and he drank his fill. On that very day, Fang Chen set Long Chen up in his own residence. 
Long Chen was just about to take a rest when a dozen prime women came to wait upon him, seeing how revealing those clothes were, seeing how their privates were barely concealed. He immediately understood what was going on. Fang Chen was trying to show him some extra benefits. This was Long Chen's first time experiencing such a thing. These women really were not bad, and considering how youthful Long Chen was, there was an immediate reaction. But then thinking of Tang Wan'er, Men Qi, and Chu Yao, that fire immediately died down. These women could not be compared to them. If he handed his valuables to an outsider here, even Long Chen would have to look down on himself. Ignoring their resentful gazes, Long Chen kicked them out of his room. Three days later, he and the other alchemists were summoned. This time, Long Chen saw Fang Chang's group had grown a great deal. There were over 30 people now. Let's go. This is the opening round of the competition. Everyone has to participate, said Fang Chang. Previously, Long Chen had merely registered. But this was the opening round. All the alchemists who had passed the registration had to come for an appraisal. This was just an ordinary display of their skills. No one would be knocked out in this round. But it was in the rules that everyone had to attend. It was to allow the competitors to be more mentally prepared for the later rounds. To let them get accustomed to the environment. In other words, even if you failed your refinement this time, it would be fine. You would merely be laughed at by the others. Following Fang Cheng into the treasure tower region, Long Chen saw the soaring tower in the distance. Even with Long Chen's calm, he couldn't help but feel shocked. This seven treasure jewel tower had a circumference of three miles. It soared so high into the sky that it was impossible to see the peak. Seeing this enormous construction from a distance was already stunning. Now that he got closer, Long Chen was extremely shaken. In the plaza in front of the tower, there was an arena with a thousand small stages. Each stage was merely a few dozen meters long. They all had a number on them. These were the stages for the opening round. The region outside the plaza was already filled with people. Those people were all alchemists who had come to watch the fun. Of course. Some had come with a learning attitude. Anyone who could compete here was an elite alchemist. Just watching them refine pills was a learning opportunity. This was also one of the meanings behind the opening round. Oh, isn't that Junior Master Fang? You only managed to get this many people? I almost feel sorry for you. Suddenly, a familiar voice rang out in Long Chen's ears. Long Chen followed that voice to see its owner and laughed inside. It was Hua Wufang. Hua Wufang looked similar to before. However, it seemed his body had grown larger. He appeared much more muscular. It should be that his new skeleton was bigger than his old one. His face had also changed a bit. Originally, his face was not bad. But now his face had become square-like. It had the appearance of a butcher. There were actually over a hundred people behind Hua Wufang. Long Chen saw a few familiar faces from when he had registered. Duan Xiang Kiao was there. It seemed she had been pulled in by the Huo family. Fang Cheng only had 30 plus people, but they had over a hundred. The difference was a bit big. Hua Wufang didn't notice Long Chen, as Long Chen's current appearance was extremely unremarkable. There was an extremely dislikable smile on Hua Wufang's face. He was still in the habit of looking down his nose on people. Long Chen sighed inside. The same voice, the same conduct. Hua Wufang. Ah, Hua Wufang. Are you looking to have the same ending as last time? Junior Master Huo. Looks like you haven't read enough books. Haven't you heard that numbers don't matter when it comes to skill? There are so many ants in this world. But do you see an ant that can rule this world? Said Fang Cheng indifferently. As long as there are enough ants, they can still bite an elephant to death. Have you never heard of that? It seems Junior Master Fang hasn't read enough books. Hua Wu Fang didn't have to say anything. A man behind him stepped up for him. Pow. Pow. That person had only just finished speaking when Fang Cheng slapped him across the face, directly breaking his nose. Do you have the qualifications to speak here? Fang Cheng clasped his hands behind his back. Those slaps had been too refreshing. They even contained the flavor of Long Chen's slaps. I remember you from the registration. Weren't you the one with the name of the apparatus a kind of animal uses to carry on its ancestral line? Ah, that's right. Your Gao Jiba. Long Chen suddenly pointed at that person. You're the illustrious Gao Jiba? You know, with that appearance, you really do look a bit similar to your name. Slender, long, and a bright head. This name really is accurate. Someone beside Long Chen took this chance to add his own thoughts. You, you, you. Hua Wufang's expression suddenly changed upon seeing Long Chen. Long Chen's heart shook. Had he been exposed just like this? Perhaps he was doomed. No, you aren't him. 
You just look a bit similar. Hua Wufang shook his head. Ha ha ha. It seems a certain someone has been scared out of his mind by Long Chen. Long San. How about I help you change your appearance in the future? Laughed Fang Chang. Hua Wufang really had been scared for a moment. Looking at Long Chen's gaze had given him a heart pounding feeling. They really were similar. But after a careful examination, this person wasn't the same as Long Chen. It was just his figure that was similar. His skin and facial features were all different. Furthermore, this person's eyes contained a red tint that was completely different from Long Chen. Now that Fang Chen was laughing at him, Hua Wufang was about to retort. When Che Li Huo suddenly appeared and stood beside Fang Chen, Long Chen's gaze shifted back and forth, and then lighted upon Gao Jiba, who had only just crawled up from the ground. An extremely concealed spiritual strength reached out. Gao Jiba's head was still in a muddled state. For some unknown reason, he suddenly opened his mouth and shouted, Screw Che Li Huo. Damn Fang Chang. Pil Yang Prefecture Soul Master is Hua Wu Fang. Chapter 659 Alchemist's Battle Translator. Born to be fuck your grandma. You fucker. Che Li Huo and Fang Chen were immediately enraged and charged at Gao Jiba. Right now, the thing they hated the most was this slogan. A-H-H. Gao Jiba had yet to understand what was happening when a resounding slap on the face struck him. Che Li Huo was even more vicious, and his kick landed at the same place his name referred to, causing an even more miserable shriek. Hey. Stop. Hua Wufang was first dumbfounded. He had never expected Gao Jiba to say such a phrase. He quickly tried to intervene. After all, this was not the place to fight. This was right in front of the Seven Treasure Jewel Tower, a sacred land of the Pill Tower. If there was a fight, it would bring on the ire of the higher-ups. More importantly, there were also so many spectators watching. Seeing Hua Wufang move to stop them, the people in his group also followed, trying to separate them. But Long Chen's eyes brightened. This was an excellent chance. He furiously roared. Brothers, they're trying to attack our junior masters. We can't allow them to bully us like this. Attack. He was the first to charge up. Without another word, seeing Hua Wufang's butt facing him, he directly kicked him in his tailbone. Bang. Hua Wufang had no defenses up. A burst of pain came from his butt, and his face turned from white to green, and then green to purple. In the end, he let out a miserable scream as he shot through the sky. Damn it. How is his butt so hard? Long Chen had kicked Hua Wufang away, but his foot hurt a great deal. He hadn't managed to break his tailbone, and instead ended up in pain because of the backlash. That bastard's new skeleton was definitely strange, but now wasn't the time to quibble over that. Following Long Chen, the others on his side also charged forward. How could they not? At this time, if they were to hesitate even slightly, they would appear disloyal. This was a critical moment for them. They would rather be injured than suffer the consequences of just standing there. In fact, many people sighed with regret that Long Chen had been the first to attack. That chance to show their loyalty had actually been snatched away by him. But they couldn't fall behind. And they also smashed their fists into those people. Fuck. They sneak attacked our junior master Huo. We'll go all out against them. Huo Wufang had been kicked into the sky by Long Chen. But because the current situation was too chaotic. No one managed to see who had done it. It was definitely their opponents though. So Hua Wufang's people also attacked. Unpleasant screams and curses rang out, as well as the sound of various body parts colliding. They were like a bunch of hooligans fighting in the street. These people were grand alchemists, and when truly fighting, they would use their pill flame. They had zero experience fighting with their physical bodies. Hair pulling, nose breaking, leg pinching, ball crushing. Some people ended up being beaten and used their most primordial weapon, directly biting others. Long Chen was also in the crowd. However, he was extremely unremarkable, using the same clumsy fighting style as the others. The spectators were all dumbfounded. This scene was truly magnificent. Over 100 alchemists were fighting like hooligans. Perhaps they would never get a chance to see such a thing again. Everyone stop. Suddenly, a furious row rang out so loudly that people's eardrums were shaken. Some of them even began to bleed because their eardrums had ruptured, and they were no longer able to hear a thing. Long Chen's heart shook. An expert had finally appeared. He hastily pulled Che Li Huo and Fang Chen out of the battle. Previously, he had been protecting them, so their clothes were still relatively intact. Other people's clothes had been torn to rags. The worst was that some women's clothes had also been torn, revealing their chests for all to see. With their hair in a complete mess, they looked like fighting hags. Following that furious roar, everyone hastily stopped.
But there was still one person whose screaming didn't stop. Gao Jiba, who had previously been beaten by Che Li Huo and Fang Chang, had been completely beaten up, and both of his arms were broken. But he was still obstinately biting down on one person's crotch. What he didn't know was that the person he was biting was on the same side as him. This victim was incomparably pained as he screamed, but Gao Jiba seemed to have gone insane and he continued to bite. Suddenly, a wave of flames flew over and wrapped around the two of them. The miserable screaming disappeared. At the same time, the two of them also disappeared. They had been directly killed. Long Chen and the others hastily turned to see an elder with an ashen expression, killing intent radiating off of him. Tower Administrator, Che Li Huo and Fang Chen hastily bowed. This person was not part of the three families. As the tower administrator, he had been sent directly by Pill Valley to oversee things. If this person was just an expert from the three families, they wouldn't be afraid. But this tower administrator represented Pill Valley, and they didn't dare be unbridled before him. The tower administrator was backed by Pill Valley, and he represented an absolute authority. The fact that he had just killed two people in his fury showed he was already on the edge of exploding. Bang. Suddenly, a figure came crashing down from the sky. It was surprisingly Huo Wufang. Long Chen's kick had been too vicious, and it had directly sent Huo Wufang flying into the sky. Only now did he fall back. When Huo Wufang landed, he didn't say a word. He held his butt and rolled on the ground. He was in so much pain that he couldn't even scream. The tower administrator kicked Huo Wufang below his waist. Long Chen's eyes narrowed slightly. This tower administrator was truly skilled. That kick of his had severed Huo Wufang's pain nerves. The instant he was freed from his pain, Huo Wufang stood up. Although he was filled with fury, he didn't dare release it. He bowed and said, Greetings, Tower Administrator. The death of the two alchemists shook everyone. They obediently stood there, not daring to say a word. The Tower Administrator's face was as black as the bottom of a pan. Killing intent soared out of him as his icy gaze swept over everyone. Their hearts trembled. They were afraid that he might go crazy and directly kill them. You disgraceful fools. Do you think this is a place for you to fight? The tower administrator roared furiously. He was a Grand Sea expansion expert, but his whole body was trembling. Even his voice was hoarse. It could be seen what level of fury he had reached. Do any of you even care about face? You're alchemists. How can you scuffle like hooligans? Grow up. Even if you had to fight, why did you do it in front of the seven treasure jewel tower and right before the opening round? Were you trying to show off your fighting skills to the tens of thousands of people who came just to watch? Should I sell tickets for this show? The mass of alchemists outside nodded. He was right. Such an incredible scene should have cost money to watch. No matter how expensive the ticket would be, they would pay. The opening round is cancelled for today. We'll change it to tomorrow. Other than that, everyone hand over your photographic jades, shouted the tower administrator. A mass of experts immediately surrounded the spectators. One by one, they investigated them. If they allowed those photographic jades to circulate, the pill tower would become the cultivation world's laughing stock. You people, get in here, ordered the tower administrator, bringing them into the seven treasure jewel tower. Then the doors shut. When the outsiders were no longer present, he continued to furiously roar. Speak, what happened here? Reporting to tower administrator. It was Hua Wufang who brought his people to provoke us. Furthermore, he even had one of his subordinates curse us, making us lose face. It was only because of that humiliation that I attacked. Disciple is young and impetuous, causing him to go too far. Please give me your punishment, said Fang Chen respectfully. His words had been very well said. First, he said it was Hua Wufang who had provoked him. He was the victim, but he still admitted his mistake. What nonsense. You were the one who attacked first, raged Huo Wufang. Screw Che Li Huo. Damn Fang Chang. Pil Yang Prefecture's sole master is Huo Wufang. HMPH. Huo Wufang. You are actually so malicious as to make such a senseless phrase to humiliate us. Tower Administrator. I can't accept such humiliation. Tell me, if a person stood right in front of us and cursed us right in the nose, would we even be men if we just endured? Said Che Li Huo. The tower administrator's furious expression twitched upon hearing this phrase. That was from wanting to laugh but suppressing it. He had no choice. If he laughed, there would be no way for him to handle this matter. At the same time, he cursed inside. Just who had come up with such a thing? Don't slander others. I never told him such a thing, said Huo Wufang. But he said it and everyone heard it clearly. He's someone from your camp. So if you didn't teach it to him, 
Why would he say it? Sneered Long Chen. You, that's enough. Shouted the tower administrator. I don't care which one of you was right or wrong. Nor do I care what reasons you have. To fight in front of the seven treasure jewel tower is an insult to the pill tower. Right now, the opening round is coming up. So I won't punish you. But I've remembered every single one of you. Once the competition is over, I'll slowly settle this debt with all of you. Now scram. Remember, you better be more obedient tomorrow, or else, not even your families will be able to protect you. Understand. Understood. How could they not understand? Two alchemists had already been turned to ashes by him. Once they returned, Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo directly arranged a feast to celebrate their victory today. That was too refreshing. Brothers, you really are heroic. I can see just how dependable and cohesive you all are. Fang Chen raised his cup to them. It's Brother Long that was mighty. With one kick, he sent Huo Wufang flying into the sky. Seeing his twisted expression, that was too fucking refreshing. Laughed Che Li Huo. Cheers to victory. Cheers. It went without saying that this victory today had raised everyone's morale. It had also united everyone even more. They drank all the way into the night before resting. The next day, Long Chen and the others were full of energy. Humming a nameless tune, they walked toward the arena for the opening round. Chapter 660 Unexpected Translator Born to be it was the same location as last time, but now there were even more spectators. They were squeezed so tightly together that not even a drop of water could get through them. What do you think? Will they fight again today? I hope so. I heard they were incredibly wonderful yesterday. Just hearing the story from you was satisfying. I got up in the middle of the night just to get a good spot today. Who doesn't hope for that? I heard that some of the female alchemists' chests even got exposed. Today, I want to open my eyes to the world. I've seen countless women, but this would be my first time seeing the body of a female alchemist. I pray for the heaven's blessing. Let the battle be even more intense than yesterday. When Long Chen heard these people's words, he almost passed out. As expected, there really were all kinds of people. That battle yesterday had already become famous. Luckily, the tower administrator had been smart and gathered all the photographic jades. Otherwise, the pill tower's name would truly resound throughout the four seas. However, some women in the group now began to act unnaturally. Wow, they've really come out. Look, that blue-robed girl. Yesterday, she was completely exposed. Her chest was so big that even two hands wouldn't be enough to hold them. A man suddenly cried out excitedly, using his hands to express what he was saying. That woman's expression immediately became ugly. Oh, Hua Wufang also came out. What happened to that girl with the violet gold phoenix pin? I see her. What about her? Yesterday, her clothes were completely blown apart. But only later did I realize she was a woman. What do you mean? Her chest is so small that I didn't even notice. Following that person's words, many gazes landed on that woman. As he said, it really was a flat plane. As more and more people arrived. The hostility in the air grew denser. Hua Wu Fang, how is your butt today? Fang Chen took the initiative. HMPH, don't get so pleased with yourself. We still have a long future in front of us to see who the final winner is, snorted Hua Wu Fang. Fuck your mom. And you said that you didn't come up with that. Fang Chen immediately became enraged. HMPH, does saying something like that have any meaning now? Don't bicker like your mother. If you have the ability, prove yourself on the stage. At that time, we'll see just whose subordinates make it to the finals, and just whose family will have the championship. After the last battle, everyone had dropped their pretenses. Hua Wufang was too lazy to quibble anymore. The fact that he no longer argued caused Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo to be even more sure that he had been the one to come up with that slogan and that he was just intentionally trying to anger them. Suddenly, the large gate in front of them opened and a group of people slowly entered the arena. These were all registrants who hadn't managed to get in the good graces of the three families. There were actually over 700 of them. They were very sullen. Yesterday, after passing the various tests, they had finally arrived in front of this door. But the door had refused to open. It was only later that someone came to tell them that the opening round had been changed to the next day. Now they finally came out. But no one had a favorable opinion of them. The elites had already been pulled out of them. Furthermore. Most of these people weren't participating in the Pill Emperor competition to get the final prizes. This competition only occurred once a century. Furthermore, you had to be under a hundred years old and have spiritual strength that had reached the Earth class. The requirements were extremely stringent. This was practically a sacred competition to alchemists. 
and just managing to participate in it was a great honor. As long as they appeared on the competition stage, that would raise their reputation and status. Many people had come just for that. As for the finals, they were well aware of their own skills. The majority of them had just come to join in on the fun, as well as to gain some experience. Silence. The tower administrator appeared and a cold shout from him cut off the clamor. We'll begin by distributing number plates. Once you obtain your number, go find your spot. Many disciples in pill tower robes now walked out, all of them carrying square tiles with numbers on them. These number plates were all random. They matched the numbers on the 1000 stages before them. Long Chen was given his number. After that, he found his stage and sat. This 30 meter square refining stage was extremely expansive. In accordance with the rules of the opening round, you can choose your own medicinal pills. There are no requirements, and failure doesn't matter. Just familiarize yourself with this environment to prepare yourselves for the preliminaries. You have six hours. The tower administrator's voice rang throughout the entire arena. Let the opening round begin. All the competing alchemists hastily took out their pill furnaces and medicinal ingredients, organizing them on the refining stage. The first thing they had to do was get used to the exact size of the refining stage. The arrangement of medicinal ingredients was extremely important. They had to have a plan for how many medicinal ingredients they could put in order. That was to avoid making an error during the sequence of refining. The higher the tier of the medicinal pill, the more stringent would the refining process be. Some medicinal ingredients needed to be put aside and left to cool for a long time after being refined into powders. There were also some powders that were extremely volatile and began to dissipate into the air after being refined. So those medicinal ingredients were refined last, which would keep the quality of the refined pill higher. High-tier pills had extremely complicated pill formulas. Any detail could affect the odds of a successful refinement. So although there would be no one eliminated this time, everyone still treated it extremely seriously. These people were all pill emperors. They all chose to refine fifth-tier pills. Because the difficulty of that was rather high, they couldn't mess around. Although this wasn't a true competition, a failure would still be humiliating. Hmm? What is that little fellow doing? What kind of broken pill furnace is that? Suddenly, an uproar came from the crowd as people's gazes landed on Long Chen's stage. Other people's refining stages were filled with medicinal ingredients. There were at least over 70 kinds of medicinal ingredients on each of the stages, and some people even had over a hundred. But Long Chen's stage only had seven medicinal ingredients, and they were extremely low-tier ones. Damn, no way. Isn't that a second-tier pill furnace? And it has a nick in it? Is he really that poor? Seeing Long Chen's pill furnace, everyone's eyes almost popped out. What was he doing? A second-tier pill furnace could only refine second-tier medicinal pills. Then looking at the medicinal ingredients he had laid around him, was he really planning on only refining a second-tier pill? Long San, what are you doing? Why don't you refine a fifth-tier pill? And what is that chamber put for? Asked Che Li Huo. He was on a stage beside Long Chen. I, I only have these medicinal ingredients, and this pill furnace is my only one, said Long Chen helplessly. He had to act like a poor alchemist raised by a pill master. He naturally couldn't use his main pill furnace, as that had been Huo Wu Fang's. Che Li Huo almost coughed up blood. If he didn't have a pill furnace, why hadn't he said so earlier? He could have easily gotten him one. Bringing out a trash chamber put like this was too embarrassing. Don't make a racket. The tower administrator suddenly shouted and Che Li Huo could only shut his mouth. Suddenly, countless flames began to soar from people's hands. They had already taken out their pill flames. All kinds of colorful and magnificent beast flames appeared. Ranked 31 on the beast flame rankings. The blue heart flame. Ranked 29 on the beast flame rankings. The scarlet blaze flame. Startled cries rang out from the crowd. These beast flames were all ranked in the top hundred of the beast flame rankings. These people were truly being shown a whole new world. Junior Master Fang and Junior Master Che's beast flames are the same. It's the Blazing Python Scale Flame. Fourth on the beast flame rankings. Heavens, isn't Junior Master Huo's flame the first rank beast flame? The Earth Dragon Golden Blaze. There was a golden flame in Huo Wufang's hand that caused the crowd to shout in shock. Even Che Li Huo and Fang Chen were filled with shock. They hadn't expected Huo Wufang to have obtained the first rank beast flame. The Huo family had once more spent a huge sum on him. That Earth Dragon Golden Blaze had come from a Xi'anchen magical beast known as the Earth Dragon. This kind of magical beast came from ancient times, and it had almost gone extinct. 
It was said that the Earth Dragon possessed a trace of a true dragon's bloodline, although its body was more like a lizard and seemed to have nothing to do with a dragon. Just that trace of a dragon's bloodline was enough to make it an overlord amongst magical beasts. It was said that a matured earth dragon was something even a sea expansion expert would have to flee from. He, looks like I win this one. Huo Wufang smiled arrogantly. He glanced at Che Li Huo and Fang Chang. His provocation obvious. The two of them merely snorted but their expressions became a bit ugly. Huo Wufang had taken the advantage in terms of pill flames. Ha ha ha. Suddenly. Mocking laughter rang out as everyone looked at Long Chen. There was a light yellow flame in Long Chen's hand. That was no beast flame but just an ordinary pill flame. It was something he had condensed from his spiritual yuan. Long Chen wasn't a true flame cultivator, and he had no core flame runes. He could only condense this simple pill flame. Has there been some mistake? How did such trash make it into this competition? Did someone sneak him in through the back door? Sneered someone. Idiot. If you don't know then don't speak. He's only 18, but his spiritual strength has reached the first tier heaven class. It's just that, just that, he comes from a poor origin. What right do you have to laugh at him? Someone recognized Long Chen and defended him. Che Li Huo and Fang Chen were extremely vexed upon seeing Long Chen take out this trash pill furnace and trash pill flame. Why hadn't he said any of this earlier? Suddenly, Long Chen smiled slightly, extending a hand. All of his medicinal ingredients flew into his pill furnace at the same time, and his pill flame entered the bottom of the furnace. His soul energy circulated, and his pill flame explosively grew.